We are back once again with Trails of Cold Steel. Welcome everybody. Back playing Trails of Cold Steel, YouTubers. This will be the start of a new episode, potentially episode 9. We are currently in a shrine at the moment. We're going to be moving forward into the depths of this place. Is it this way? I think it's this way. I think this is the nature one. And we're going into the Proving Grounds, so... We're just going to be battling our way through here. Then we'll be fighting the boss at the end of the dungeon. And then we'll be moving on with the game. Probably onto the last and final shrine that we have to do. But we've collected all the students for this chapter. We've done all the story. We just need to push through this. So I will try and show most of it to you guys. But I'll edit it, a lot of it down so that it's not as you know painful. And you guys can feed back in the comments about whether you like watching this or not. But yeah. The Twitchies will keep me company during the grind, I'm sure. Constantly juggling different games at the moment, so I feel like I'm always uh, adjusting audio. Something I talk about very regularly. You guys are like, Jack, shut the hell up. Flash. Let's do this. But yeah. We got a good fight here. GG. I needed something chill today to, to mellow me out while we were playing, so we'll just fiddle around with this. Actually, have I got... I've got the other scene set up, yeah. We might sit over here for a little bit while we uh, grind through this dungeon. I couldn't remember if I was in the cloud or not, but... Oh, there we go. Academy Senpai. Alright, maybe uh, maybe Laura hangs out with us for a little bit then. Will we get through it? Alright, who have we got here? I mean, from the chest is Machias Milium. Well, we do not give a single shit about that. And over here we have Alicia and Fee. See, that's actually kind of worth. But I don't think I can... I don't think Alicia's here, is she? Nope. Fuck. Oh well. Fuck it. You're in my way. Oh my god, this is a huge fight. We are not going first either. I'm gonna interrupt these guys. Otherwise we're gonna get nuked. Fiend's going next, man. Fuck it. <laughs> Huge morale boost to see it all up and running somewhat smoothly. Yeah, I can, I get that skill tree. I get it. It's like I guess at a lower, at a lower level of complexity. Why do people play games like Don't Starve and stuff? Right? It's like you get that moment where everything just works. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's cool. It's cool, man. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Some of the other guys were talking about it in the uh, the other Discord I'm a part of, actually. I think it was Ronan and Steve were starting up Factorio. I think Lawless. Oh, was it Noobster? It might be Noobster, actually. Who knows? Massive XP. That should suffice. Done. Right, we're getting a lot of stats here, which is good because I feel like the last time I fought one of these bosses, Genbu, oh nice. Genbu is a summon, it's a persona in, pers in the Persona series, I'm pretty sure. Genbu. Famous Japanese monster of myth. Let's uh, have a look at Genbu and see what it actually does for me because it might be a direct upgrade to my characters. So if I go, again, I'm so bad at remembering how to navigate these menus, but let's just have a look at Genbu. We've got Ancient Glyph, first of all, from earlier. Large area of attack, pitch by 20%. Um, just a strong, extra large. Earth move is the first the first Glyph we got from earlier in this dungeon. I didn't look at that. We also have Genbu, plus 25 strength, attacks and crafts cost poison or petrify, 20% chance. Not bad, honestly. Not bad. I would love to put this on... Um, probably my main character or maybe like Laura could take something like this as well. We've done this before. This is our third fight with an enemy like this. Let's see what nonsense this guy can throw at us. Here we are. You'd think they'd be ready by now, right? Here it comes. Can we bring like some backup for this? Couldn't we bring like a tank or something? Oh my god, it's Idris Elba. This feels like the strongest magic knight. Yeah, I don't say that, Emma. Why would you say that? Alright. And because we're kind, we're only going to fight it with four of our best units. 
Stay on your toes. All right. My turn. Off the rip, we probably want overdrive. We probably want overdrive. I think that's the best play. Here goes. So let's do it. We'll worry about greed and for XP against this thing towards the end of the fight, but for the time being, we have to play it like we might we, we might lose because we we could actually lose. Okay. Um. What we want to do is probably chrono drive our whole team while they're standing on top of each other. Can obviously instantly cast because we're in overdrive mode and now our overdrive can start to tick back up as well which is great so let's have a look at this guy as an enemy he is weak to hey poison 50 percent blind and sleep 50 percent that's all very good guys that's all very good uh ring can poison uh if he has a blind sleep is an kind of an of uh i think elliot's the sleep guy um maybe sarah can do that well, she got seal so the seal is going to have zero impact this fight, unfortunately. Sarah's going to struggle a lot against this particular enemy, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, hopefully Fee and Reen can carry this fight if we're lucky. Uh, I don't actually have any poison spells, but yeah, I think uh, Blind and, and Poison is probably our best bet against this guy. We might get burn procs off on him. Unfortunately, he cannot be frozen, which means Eustace's special sword is going to be... Not as good as special ability, Sony. But yeah, anyways, uh, in terms of weaknesses, he is weak to nothing. He's just neutral across the board, so it doesn't matter what spells we hit him with. Uh, we probably want to hit him with a, a burn, potentially. Freeze 30% won't proc. Seal is not going to proc. So it's probably just Flare Bomb. Go on, I need a crit here, please. 8,000 is not bad. Again, this enemy will heal, so... We have to kind of bear that in mind. Let's try and do, try and get some blind stuff off. So if he's got a 30% chance, which is very, you know, unlikely, but it's possible. Let's see if we can get it. Here. This guy's probably going to buff himself. We got a speed down, which is good, which means Reen actually gets his turn. Okay, that was kind of nice. So what have we got here? We've got Impede, Delay, Seal, Burn 50%. I mean, it's probably my best bet. It's not that great though. Um, oh uh, yeah, speed down 50% chance and delay 50% chance. So actually, Reen might be able to pull something off here. Delay uh, 15 plus 25. Or we just go for the burn proc. Let's see if we can delay him. It's unlikely, but... Okay, speed down, attacks, Very magic. Well. Okay, nice. Good. Very good so far. Uh, Yusus, this is your first turn. We have a Noble Command here for the entire squad, so let's go ahead and use it. Buff everybody up. Try and make them do some useful stuff here. Alright, Fee, you are in it. Um, I think I just keep going for the blind, honestly. It's not a lot of damage, but it's possible. Alright. What have we got here? Seal delay 25... Seal speed down 50%. Yeah, I mean, it's a 25% once you calculate everything, but we could go for that. We could try and get the speed down for a turn or two, or we could just go for the delay. Don't hate that either. Let's try it. Let's see if we can push this guy back. You didn't see that coming. That's a good no. hit first. All right. Understood. I think this is a good time. We get a lot of CP across the board on all of our units here. Everybody gets a little boost. Let's move. We didn't apply any poison to him though, which is a bit of a shame. Do we want to just try to keep delaying this guy? Reen actually has this, but I don't think we want to do that yet. Let's just go for this. Resisted. We're actually doing a lot of damage to this guy, which is really good. If he gets a free attack here, so I'm thinking it might just be a free chrono drive. She can only reach... How many turns is that for five turns? She can only reach these two or these two. Um, I don't hate the idea of boosting this now while it's actually free. Seems a bit sad though, but we'll do it. Why not? That could be a bit of a waste to be honest, but I'm not sure. Very well. All right, Usus. Let's see what you can do for me. Fifty percent with the burn, maybe. 
Seal, seal, burn, freeze. What else have we got here? Seal and freeze 50% is going to be useless. Uh, we do have rapid thrust with impede and delay. A 20% chance to unbalance. This would put this would put useless in the front line though, which I don't really love. Physical immunity, a holy barrier that blocks one attack. This could be fine. I might do that with the Reen's turn, honestly. And with useless, I might just actually do like a straight up fire attack. Let's go for this. We'll go for a burn. Remember, this guy's gonna this guy's gonna heal himself at some point, so we have to be prepared for that. Let's maybe we can do like a. Can we get yeah, I think we do this and put this on the whole team. Notice that the big guy's got a crit coming up, which is kind of terrifying. All right, we'll keep going for the blind with the grenade with fee. Have to be careful though. That's our down to hundred CP. We got a crit, up, which is nice. Say the. He's going to have a crit coming up, which is cool. Can I do anything to you? Seal, speed down. Uh, honestly, I think we just go for... What's probably my best bet. Burn attack. Put the shield on everyone here. This reflects damage, so... And it should last forever, I think. Gives his magic up. It's good for this. We're delaying this guy a lot by the looks of things. We're pushing him back. Reen's lost his speed buff though. As has Yusus. Big, huge damage. Here's another big fire attack. Maybe we can get a fire prop, please. I don't know if this guy heals to like I don't know if he heals a portion of his of his HP or if he heals up to a certain point, but we're doing really well here. I want to try and maintain this if I can. Uh, maybe we do like a chrono drive on the backline boys. Oh no, they do have buffs. We just couldn't see them. Oh, well maybe in that case we're fine then. Can I get away with a kind of cheeky attack here? Please don't miss. Back delay. Let's move. Nice. All right, Reen, you have a lot available. I think we want to try and hit you with something big. Question is, do we want to try and keep delaying? Let's see if I can get away with this. I'll handle this. All right, Yusus. I think it's just Purgatorial Flame again, honestly. Uh, okay. Seda. I keep trying to get these burn procs, and it's very unlikely. Here goes. But we'll keep doing it. I'll handle it. Fee is up. <laughs> She's getting a little bit of CP, but not a lot. Eustace uses a lot of EP here, which is a bit scary. This guy's not fought back yet, which is really good for us. Okay, big damage. Hopefully this is big damage too. Dude, we could actually just kill this guy straight up. Um, We're getting to that kind of crazy point where we could just straight up kill him. Which is honestly bonkers. I'm wondering if I can use some items here. I think I need to get him lower before I start pissing around with items and stuff. I don't want to greed too much. How much is this? 40 CP? Just stuff to attack. I'm glad we've not missed any of these. Speed down is huge here. I think because he's doing so much damage, we just keep using this. I'm not going to be able to heal with uses. This is kind of risky, but I think I can get away with it. We'll just keep poking. My turn. Um. Fuck it. Okay. I think I think we're in a good spot, but we'll see. This should do a lot of damage, and then I'm gonna try and just wombo combo finish him off. I don't know why he's never had a turn. We keep we keep pushing his attack back, and seem, we keep seeming to proc it, but. I was really nervous coming into this fight that it would be a problem, but we're actually huh? shitting on him. We got a crit here, it's game over, I'm pretty sure. It's interesting that Yusus is doing way more damage with his abilities, but I think it's just because it's a, an expensive one. Alright, this only cost me 40, which means I can actually go for the blind and kill this guy. Do I need to use Fee here, though? I wonder if I can just kill him. 
It's a bit greedy. Let's go for it, see if we can get the blind off. That did so little little damage. Um I'm just concentrating here. Very well. I want to try and uh I mean, I have two, lots of 200 limit breaks. I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. I just need to do it correctly. Let's go ahead and do a battle scope on him. We're going to get so much XP from this. It's crazy. This poor guy hasn't been able to do anything. I'm also going to be able to overdrive, which I think I'm going to do now. Double overdrive for XP. I'd like to proc an off-balance ability on him if I can, but... What we're going to do instead is use these shitty items so that we get Bag of Tricks applied. Uh, do you know what? If we want it to be super safe, give this to Usus. That should be Bag of Tricks. I suppose I should thank you. My turn. Um... Yeah, now we're just finishing this guy off. I wondered, I wanted to get like a chain of attacks on him. But I don't think he's weak to anything. That's good. Nice. Um. Scared of useless misses. Let's do Dark Matter. Leave it to me. We don't want to get hit by him, so if I miss an attack here, it's kind of bad. It's gonna go for a flare bomb. This guy's t actually would. I'm so surprised we have smashed this fight so hard. I know coming into it, you might be thinking, Jack, you were obviously overpowered or whatever, but the last robot fight that we fought against, we haven't grinded for. But the difference in power level between the two is crazy. Um, this guy's just not getting any turns. Don't know why, but I'm not complaining. Hey Dommy, what's up man? Nice to see you. I've been well, how are you? What's good, homie? We're gonna let Reen limit break this guy after, hopefully for an overkill. This should be big. There could be a second phase to this, maybe that's the gimmick. Maybe this guy will have a, a second phase and I've actually been baited in here. That could be really bad, but hopefully not. We don't get the overkill, unfortunately, Sag. We should get a lot of XP for this, though. Absolutely stomped this fucker. Okay, it's safe for now. Okay, we get 2.0 XP, unscathed, double teamed, overdrive times two, bag of tricks, and scouter, of course, for the extra points. It's a shame we didn't get more double team procs off, but whatever, I'll take it. Uh, the unscathed bonus is nice, of course. Overkill would have been sick, but we'll take. Watch this, this should be crazy. We should get paid here. Seeing you on my YouTube feed, so I'm like, hey, I need to say hi to this man. It's been too long. Hey, good stuff, Dommy. <laughs> what uh, what YouTube videos were coming up for you? Just out of curiosity. Was it Liza P, maybe? Welcome, man. Hope all has been good with you. Hope life's treating you well. We actually get very little XP for this, which I'm now starting to worry there is maybe more to this fight Great. than meets that the eye. I'm so glad. Is there going to be a twist to this, guys? Are they going to spice it up? No, all the weapons are going away. Alright, was it that easy? Is everyone okay? I think so, thank goodness. That's three trials overcome. You can tell just how much stronger you've become. Let's get ourselves some more Zemurian ore, right? Hey, it feels good, man. Let's go up to the top and get it, guys. There's no items here, is there? Alright, boss down. Really confused. We absolutely clapped that guy. And I'm now nervous. Jamurian or Crystal received, so that's us got three out of four. Soon we'll be able to get a new sword for big dude. Big Gundam bro. That makes three. We've gathered a fairly good amount by now. I imagine we must still be somewhat short of having enough. We should make our way back to the last spirit shrine to be sure. Alright. I mean, no beating around the bush with trails here, man. It just they just straight up tell you it's like right to the next shrine, to the next shrine. Which means we will have to grind through another one of these places, guys, but Realistically, it needs to be done, and the only way we get through it is by getting it done, so... I'm not not fond of it, but it's whatever. It's whatever. We'll rest here. I think it was the... I think it was the thumbnail include Mecha or something? I think it was this game. 
I've been 50-50. I did evade military drafting. Oh, shit. Tommy, is that something that... I mean... Is that something that was worrying you, Dommy? If you had been drafted, would that uh, would that have been a long time you had to go away for? If you weren't looking forward to doing it, man, then I'm glad that you you got out of it. I guess. Um, that's wild, man. It was probably our Liza P thumbnail. I think the one you're talking about, most likely. But okay, um, let's get picked up by the courageous. How do we do this again? Oh, that's the save button. Fucking hell, man. Every time I forget. Uh... Fuck me, bro. How do we do it, man? There's too many buttons in this fucking game, man. Uh, isn't there like a courageous button from here? Oh, you push square and then hit options. That's what it is. Alright, return to the courageous. We're going to our last shrine, boys. I may be able to rest in the courageous bedroom here to get our HP and stuff back. Uh, we want to go to the nap room. Should be here. I'm looking for the bedroom symbol. That's the one. This will give us our CP back. Feels good, man. During some voice acting for one of my girlfriend's school assignments. What's happening here? Doing so oh sorry, doing some I apologize, skill tree. So far I've been a grumpy bus driver and a grumpy train conductor. I feel like she's trying to tell me something. Maybe she may <laughs> I mean you could be naturally suited to the role skill tree, but No, I'm sure uh, I'm sure you're just talented. That's what it is, mate. Those are the most important roles, obviously. Right, Terra Shrine is done. We're going to the Aqua Shrine. Last one, guys. We gotta get through this. We've already done half of it, so we'll have to get through a little bit more of a proving ground, and then hopefully we can just smurf on the boss again. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Is there going to be any difference to the shrine, or is this just going to be a case of the usual chit chat? Non-stop grinding. Here we are, the Four Spirit Shrine. We're almost done. All right, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's go. Mm, in my country, people get drafted for training, but my skin condition and de uh, depressiveness saved me, I guess. Tommy, remind me what country you're from, mate. Where is it you're uh, speaking to us from this evening or this morning? Once we've gone in, it'd be a waste to leave before we finished. Are we ready? Yeah, sure. Proving Grounds has begun. I don't know why Reen even says that, you know. It'd be a shame to finish what we started. Because you can come and you can leave and join as much as you want in these dungeons, so I don't even know why that's a text box. That kind of alludes to the fact that you don't want to be leaving before you start, but realistically, there's nothing to stop you doing that, so... Just uh, consistencies, you know? What you're sharing with the player, but... Alright, we're in the Water Shrine. We've got Spooky Lapras... We'll try and get through this as quickly as we can, guys. I've just realised I didn't get my CP back from sleeping in the bed. That's kind of disappointing. Alright. Anyways, uh, these guys are weak to water damage, which makes no sense. But, okay. Sure. I'll handle this. Boom. Damage? Not bad. Just dodge. Just dodge, forehead. Aw, oh, Reen, you're shite. We're taking a lot of damage from these enemies, even though we're doing a lot of damage, and that's kind of worrying. This guy moved out of the way of my attack. What the fuck? Uh, let's just do, uh, do this. Okay. Lithuania. Okay, okay, okay. Well, Domi, I'm glad you don't have to go. Is that a postponement, Domi, or is that you done forever now? Do you never ever have to go to the military, or... Is it merely just a case of you're not going this year and you might have to go in the future? How does that work? Me Baltic boy. Skilltree says, I'm gonna read some more. Glad I can help her as much as people keep telling me. Uh, hold on. Glad I can help her as most people keep kept telling her this level of education was above her pay grade and while she's struggling, she's yet to miss a single completion point. Good. 
That's good news, skill tree. Good on Aquia. Okay, Tell her to keep going and fuck the haters. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I'll have to do it anymore ever. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, Domi, I'm glad, man. Alright, we are out here, boys. We are grinding. Non-stop. We did alright against that last boss, all things considered. Because I was nervous that we couldn't burn him more. Well, we couldn't seal him, specifically. But that's GG. Nice proc here. Because how depressed I was, I guessed I had to... Uh, or because of how depressed I was, I had to tell how shit my life was to a doctor. Did they have sympathy for you, Domi? Did they, uh... You feel like they did the right thing? It's not okay since I don't need to go. What do you mean? Done. You weren't, you were, you didn't want to go. Oh, well, now it's okay. Oh, I see. Sorry, sorry. I got you, I got you. Alright, how do we, we need like a, probably need like magic to reach that, correct? Um, uh, maybe if I can sub out uses for Emma? I really hope this works. How about this? How about this? How about this? Oh, is it this thing? What's this? I'm not sure. Uh, field attack. So okay. can Reen do that for me? He can do it. Maybe Reen can do it too, but I missed. Alright, that stops the water flow, the water levels come down. It means I don't need to have Emma in my party, which is cool. I mean, we love Emma a lot, but... So save us a bit of drama. I'm also just going to quickly take young Eusis here, and we're going to do a little heal. I'll do. Alright, down we go, boys. Onwards. Enjoy your reading master skill. Handle this. Is there anybody in the chat that's off today, just hanging out, chilling, playing games, or are you guys all busy, busy? Anybody relaxing today? Yes, he's probably working. J Cram will be at work. Let's get this over with. Okay. Eliminating targets. Pew 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 pew. Nice. My turn. Alrighty, let's do this. There might be another fight before we get to the end, anyhow. A mint drop. Boggers. Alrighty, alrighty. I think that's just the end. I, I realistically want to take one last fight if I can get one. Oh, I guess we kill this big fucking idiot. Fine. This one's, dangerous. Stand this one's not girl. dangerous. These guys are chumps. Form, I really like Gale. I don't like that Gale misses all the time, but it's so good for procking all these status things that Reen has the okay. capability of using. There's like a nice synergy going on here. I think I can get away with a sweep here as well. Nice. Alright. That guy's sealed, so we'll just go for this dude. No misses, please. Nice. You're done. Could probably greed with more attacks here if I wanted to, but it's just fine. What's kind of random, dumpster, is like how when you know when you proc a status on someone, it feels so random the number that appears next to it. So like with the bosses, it's normally only one turn of whatever it is you proc. Well, I I did an attack earlier with Reen and he procced seven turns of poison damage on a random enemy, and I'm like, where do these numbers come from? You know how this guy's got like four turns of seal. He's just not going to do anything forever. You know, like, I don't know how the game calculates that. Very well. It's very bizarre. Um, 
I think we aren't getting a perfect score here unless Yusus can pull something out of his ass here. Oh, never mind. Ziggs J4 bot lane says, <laughs> says J Crab. <laughs> oh, nice seal. That was really good, Simon. We're delaying this guy as well, so he's still got the seal on him. We just need to not miss. He's going to take burn damage here. It looks like we're scripted, man. These guys just don't do anything. Alright. No overkill, unfortunately. That should give us the last level up, though. Sarah gets it. Yeah. That's us. Sarah gets a speed upgrade, which I always talk about because it's so kind of important. I think speed in these games are kind of... Speed's kind of king. Alright, so that is us, boss time. Let's see if we uh, can shit on this guy like we shot on the last one. If I was to go out on a limb, I would say, hey, we're going to be fine, but uh, you never know. Sometimes a boss will just have an immunity that will just wipe your team off the map, or you'll have some bullshit. But I think we'll, truthfully, I think we'll be alright. Sounds broken. Think of the wombo. Alright, here we go. I'll handle this. Okay. This is our last shrine, guys, so once we do this, we are finito. Let's get it done. It's taken us an hour and 40 minutes to get through these two shrines. Let's uh, see if we can wrap it up nicely. Alright, Mr. Mr. Bossman. The last Zemurian ore, here we come. Somebody get the, the bazooka ready. Here we are. Our fourth one. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, for sure, dumpster. For sure. Alright, what's the name of this big guy? Here it comes. Does he have a name? No? Oh, wait a minute. This feels like... Oh, shit. Wait a minute. What the heck? Wait, what? Wait, what just happened? Chat. I'm so confused. What the? Did it just vanish? Hey, there's no way we're not getting a boss fight. This was the work of... Oops, you can't... Oh, shit. Wait a goddamn minute. We got a bit of a... I'm so glad they decided to change this up because I was getting a bit fatigued. I'm not going to lie. Oh, not... Not the lady. Is this is this Clotilde? Is this Vita Clotilde? I always get mixed up, man. So that was your doing, Vita? It was, yeah, okay. Ooh, Pogu. We get to fight Booby Lady. <laughs> There's no need to be so wary of me. I merely did what you were planning to do anyway, didn't I? I just did you a favor. A likely story. You can't seriously expect us to believe that. Last time you tried to do us a favor, you abducted Elise and Princess Alfin. <sighs> oh, woe is me. I don't see Not sure we want to fight someone who one shot the boss. <laughs> True. What really brought you Bring the boss back. Bring him back. Cast revive. How did you even know this place existed? Even I didn't until Selim told me. Unlike you, I'm a fully Can you imagine if one of our teammates just walked out? One of, imagine if Fee at the back of the group just like one eighty and like slowly crept out of the hall. As such, I know everything. Oh, she knows everything, guys. Far more than a She's a badass. Unlucky, Emma. Like you've long known all there is to know about this place. More than you and the elder do, in fact. Oh, I know. Why don't I take this opportunity to enlighten you on a fun little something? Enlighten these nuts. That being the true purpose of the Hexen Clan to which we belong. Uh oh, let me guess. She can turn into an ogre. We get a monster. Monster ball. Oh my God! Stop touching me. Oof. What is this light? Why do I feel so good in my pants? A flash grenade? No, this is a flash grenade. Fear you trolling? Something's flowing into my head. Oh, the music's lapped itself. We have to make this go speedy. This is what a crystal of the ancient magic ore looks like, says a young man in the flashback. The light from it is so beautiful; it's almost divine. Yes, but enough about me. Tell me about the crystal. The crystal, he he. 
Um, this is no time to be joking around. This is a sacred fucking religious battleground. This is a holy place. Shut up and make love to me. This should grant us the strength to suppress that great calamity. Indeed, the final battle draws near. Ever since I first met that great knight, my fate was sealed. I will be able to abide by it, but will you accompany me? You needn't even ask. I will be by your side until the day the goddess calls me to hers. Oh, look, that's her on the phone. Goodbye. All right, GG's. Dude, is it Vita in the flashback? Is Vita the girl from the past? Another one of someone's memories? Another one. Or whatever it was, I witnessed it as well. Laura, did you bring any beers? And I presume that blonde-haired woman in it must be. <gasps> that shouldn't have been possible. She can't be that old. Just what did you do for us to see that? Think of it as a special treat from me. I um, activated my AoE bong ability that makes you all high as fuck. Ordinarily, only the Ashen Awakener would have been able to see it, but I allowed the rest of you to see it too. Oh, well, thank you, Vita Clotilde. As for what it is, it's a glimpse of the truth regarding what really happened during the War of the Lions. The truth? And that really was a memory from... Dracul's the Lionheart, yes. Dracul's. Dracul's. It's like a brand of syrup, but, but more important. And the woman with him was the Lance Maiden, Leanne Sandlot. Oh yes, Leanne Sandlot, of course. During the war, they too had to borrow the strength of a divine knight. And they were drawn into a conflict between fragments of the Great Power. Mm. Just like Reen and Crow during this war. Mm. Wait, there's no way the War of the Lions involved divine knight battles. If that had been the case, surely the world would know of it. Actually, I have heard mention of that from Grandmother. <laughs> of course, Emma. Wait. Doesn't that mean... I read about this on Reddit once. Oh, has the truth finally dawned on you? Uh-oh. The fragments of the great power are destined to be drawn to one another. Forced to collide over and over and over. Like Groudon and Kyogre. Wait, did they fight in Pokemon lore, guys? Who are the two Pokemon that are always fighting? Is that Dalgi and Palkia? These dark All of them? I don't know. Have repeated themselves since time immemorial. I think I know what the what the plot twist is gonna be. Vita Clotilde is Rayquaza. And every time the truth of what happened disappears from the Carpian Widow. No, actually, yeah, you're right. Those two works. legendary bastards. System. Hold on a moment. The kings of Viridian Forest. I can't follow what you're saying. I can't follow you on Twitter anymore, Vita. You spam too much pish. Oh, don't feel bad if you're having trouble wrapping your head around it. Vita, are you gonna shop and fight me or what? That's perfectly normal. After all, that's just how this world is. Bro, don these nuts. Wait, you aren't suggesting the clan's true purpose is the clan. Uh huh. The clan. Did you finally Otto. realize the fundamental role we witches play? We shoulder the responsibility of operating and managing part of that giant system. <laughs> Not that I would expect an apprentice and her familiar to know anything about that. Uh. Don't listen to her, Emma. You're better than this. Knows, of course, but she chose not to share the knowledge with you, likely fearing it would be a burden. You don't mean that. But how pitiful is it to have lived for the sake of fulfilling your duty as a witch without knowing what that duty really is? I almost feel sorry for you. I... Emma, it's fine. <laughs> I heard you were a sadist, but I wasn't expecting you to be this cruel. Tell her, Seda. Oh, we've still got the weapons out. It must be a fight. Away, Emma. There's no need to be afraid of accepting the truth. Reen? Reen! Oh? I know what it's like to be afraid of accepting new revelations about who I am or about my past. About being the main character. Everybody, get ready for a speech. I feel like once I know, life will never be the same again. Things will never be the same again. Maybe that's true. But there's one thing that I can believe in beyond a shadow of a doubt. McDonald's is better than Burger King. That my classmates and all the people who've stood by me through everything That's a that fucking been line. through will keep standing by me to the very end and accept me for who I am, no matter what. Bye, Dumpy. <gasps> yeah, everyone accepted me despite my past as a Jaeger. Jaeger bombs. Hold your head up high, Emma. There's nothing in this world that could stop us from proudly standing at your side and. I don't know Sorry, what to Laura. say. Had to cut you off there. Hmm. Accidentally. Did we pop an offer here or what? Vita, thanks to you, I finally noticed the change in my own feelings. Change? I enrolled at Thor's to fulfill my duty as a witch. 
I won't deny that. Emma's gonna digivolve to Charizard. Nor will I deny that until that point, I effectively lived to carry out that duty, obeying all I was taught without question. Mm -hmm. But that's the past. Now, I feel very different. Now, I want to live a life of my own, together with the classmates I've been fortunate enough to meet. I'm no longer the person I used to be. Ugh. Emma. Woo! You go, Emma. Slay, Queen Slay. <laughs> That's one way to steal your resolve. That's the class president we know. <laughs> I'm impressed. You've matured a lot more than I was expecting during your time at the academy. Avita? But let's put that to the test, shall we? Oh, here we go. I haven't had the opportunity to train you in some time. So this is as good a chance as any to see what you're capable of now. Her eyes just got really scary. What form are we fighting you Dance, in? my sweet little bird. Behold, your master's foes. Bear your fangs and raise your talons. She's gonna have a proxy monster. Oh, Vita. This isn't as exciting. Everyone get back! Quickly! Og. Here was me thinking this boss was gonna be easier. God damn. Oh my god, it's a giant fucking peacock! Grianos Ora, as your guardiano. she do to it? I don't know, injected it with some steroids right in the butt. It's called Savant Vols. It allows a witch to pour an incredible amount of mana into their familiar. Okay. I'd imagine she's given Time to fuck up the parrot, boys. Possesses. <laughs> well then, Emma, let's see what you're capable of. Oh. Show me if you have the strength to back up your words. I will. Please, everyone, lend me your power. You've got it. Back on, lose your power. Us. All right. This one looks dangerous. Be careful. Here we go, boys. Straight off the rip. Is it going to be overdrive turn one? Where is my overdrive? Why is Laura in my fucking party? Wait. Wha why is La why is Laura there? Who the fuck? Where's Usus? What the fuck? This is bullshit! This is fuck. Wait, why? Did I have Laura in my party? No, that's been changed, right? Game's trolling me. Alright, well, I guess we're doing a chrono drive turn one. I wanna hit all four of these guys. Wait, Emma's here as well. What the fuck is Emma doing? Emma can now use Zodian Rain. What the fuck is happening? I don't know if Emma has any stuff on her. Crescent mirror? Probably good, right? Huh? I don't think this is a bad play. But Hopefully this speeds up Emma enough so that she can get a quicker turn order. Maybe? My turn. Alright, we just need to overdrive and delay. Wait, I can't overdrive because... Hold on. Now I can overdrive. Now I can overdrive. Okay. I think this is fine. I am going to have to delay this fucking thing though. Can I... What is it weak to? Weak to darkness, gold damage, and silver damage. It can be burned and everything else. But not much. Not much after that. Uh, I need to try and slow it down. Maybe we can apply some... Maybe we can apply some debuffs here. I should have overdrive before doing this. But, oh wait, Emma did one damage. Okay. I don't think Emma's been upgraded in a long time. She needs swapped out of this fight immediately. She's not supposed to be here. All right. Fine. Uh. Everybody's got a lot of speed at the moment, which is good. What crafts do we have? Impede blind. Can you be blinded? You can. It's very low chance though. Seal or delay. I think we go for this. Three, two. We have to try and make it miss a turn. Let Emma get our ability off. Now. Got you. No, no, no proc so far, which is a bit of a bummer. Paint and burn 50% or seal. We could try and seal it away. Second Fuck floor. it. Gale. 
Nice. Now! You're done. I'll handle it. Mm. This could be kind of scary. I don't know what this guy's about to do, but Emma's too slow. Seal and delay, plus 30. I mean, I think we have to try and go for it here. One, two, Fuck, man. Please, one time. Five, if ever I, I needed a delay, it's now. now. Maybe Reen can apply Got something. You. Just kidding. Oh, wait, it did miss a turn. Is that on everyone? Is that being applied to everyone or no? Yes. Okay, reflect magic damage on. This to me. Good shit. Uh, Laura, you need to get the fuck out of my team. What the hell are you, what are you even doing in here? Uh, let's bring in Yusus. Alright. Uh, noble Command? don't really want to do buffs right now. Let's try and seal and freeze. I gotta get MI out of here. The only thing is, there's no magic protection on Yusus right now. There is another overdrive available. We don't want to use that just yet, though. Seal and delay, I think. One, I got MI out and get Seda in, and then we should be alright. Huh? I think we do get to actually use the turn as well. The pierce damage is really good. No procs of any status, though. Which is really sad. Is it a flame dragon turn? Why not? Fuck it. Burn to ash. Resisted. Can I maybe get away with uh Ono driving everyone again? Here I go. <clears throat> Just to extend the speed buffs and also give it to Usus. So far this thing has not had a turn, but it's about to do something. It's my turn. Sarah, you need to get the hell out of here. I'm so sorry. Sorry for the trouble. Need to bring Sarah right, in. Let's get this All right, so. Gold, silver, and darkness. Seda has none of the above. I think we just go for a player bomb, I guess. Here goes. Okay. <clears throat> and then I think we just can I get away with an impede? I'm gonna try and delay it again. Two. It's unlikely, but I'll try. Huh? Definitely not impossible. And done. It's very unlikely. Now. I'll do okay, a rush maybe. here. See if Reen can apply something. Alright. Pay for us, boys. Right wave. Okay. Yusus didn't have the shield on. 95. 95. Yusus did take a hit, which is a bit of a bummer, but not too much. Now, luckily for us, Yusus has gold and silver damage. Dark Mar definitely does the most. Nice buff. Huh? We want to cast big magic on this thing and see how, how weak it is to 9,000. That's not that great. Not that great. I think I'm going to try and apply this again. He's got a turn coming up that's kind of scary. To ash. Fall. Gotta get the noble command off here. My turn. Um... Fuck. very little damage. We're getting a couple of turns though. This should do decent, hopefully. 4,000 with movement down. My turn. Uh, Fee gets a free cast here, so she could go for demonic, but I think we have to drive. The only thing is I don't get much value on it. These guys have speed for many turns. Sarah needs speed though. That could move Yusus back actually. This. Could go for the attack here. I don't want him to get that HP thing that he's about to take. So I could also limit break here with Seda. Or I could go for a seal 50% chance unbalance maybe. It's unlikely but I think it's not bad. It's either that or Noble Command. I'll go for Treasure Sword. No and then I'm gonna place. probably steal. This is it! You're mine! CP up. Alright, this is big damage. Hopefully this is good. 
You notice the bird's getting a couple of turns here in a row. I don't know what he's about to do, but we need to get in the way of whatever it is. No buffs on rain, so this unfortunately doesn't get a lot of value, but Divine Force. So he heals. And he gets another turn. No, he doesn't. Okay. Interesting. Not bad, though, honestly, all things considered. Um, Let's see if we can push this guy back a little bit. Uh, he's got a speed buff. A big speed buff. Which is kind of scary. I kind of want to hit this guy with some crafts. Seal 90%. Delay. We go for Thunder and Roar? I think so. That was really bad. Uh, <clears throat> if I do this... This is a crit. Fuck, man. This... This is uh, gonna be a tough fight, I think. Altair Cannon. Is this the limit break, is it? This could maybe wipe me. Oh no, our whole team is standing on top of each other. Alright, the good news is they survive, but <clears throat> at what cost, man? Right, breath. It's not over yet. I think this might be an opportunity to do some serious healing here. Uh I think having the Crescent Mirror active there would have been really good. <clears throat> I could have also used some limit breaks from Emma and Laura before I rotated them out. Maybe that would have been a smart play. Does he have any healing abilities? Crescent Mirror, I think, needs to happen. Alright, let's see how much Usus can heal people here. It's probably not that much, but... Yeah, it's scaringly. It's not, not that much at all, honestly. That will hopefully peel us... A little bit. Alright. I've got a big heal for the front line if I want to use that. I think I just make Sarah heal herself. This guy's gonna get a free magic attack, which I fucking hate. I might actually take his turn away from him. Hmm. I hate that I'm not going aggressive here, honestly. Seal and delay. Seal 90%. I think I still think this is a good deal. Now. Let's go, use this. I'll handle this. It's a long fight. I have to use this in case he's about to kill me. I told you my team was not good at healing. I did say that. You were warned, dumpster. <laughs> Alright, we have proc poison here. This should hit the crescent mirror. Nice. Actually She's missed stopped. a lot of people. It's big. I think if I can get Reen to Crescent Mirror again, we should be alright. Okay. He takes the poison proc. Uh I don't really want to have to overdrive here, but I might have to just to keep me alive. I might have to do it. Right. Here we go, guys. Ween gets his CP back as well here, which is pretty good. We're going to try and uh, delay this guy as best we can. I need to do a speed buff with Fee as well. I'm trying to get some sort of proc off on him here. Or another poison proc if we're lucky. Right, Reen, you're going to just do the same thing. You're going to just do Crescent Mirror. I think that's how we beat this guy. It's going to be Crescent Mirror spam. It doesn't cost that much to cast this, it's just a slow spell. I need to get my other overdrive filled up and so far that's not gone very quickly. Yusus should be able to heal people here. I'm gonna keep trying to delay. Although maybe that could have been a speed buff for everyone, I don't know. Yusus is good. My turn. Useless, my man. He can instantly cast this, which is great. It hits my whole team. Uh, 
Alright. Very big. We sustain. Thanks. Thanks. Nice. I don't really like how my whole team is grouped on top of each other here. It's kind of silly. I could go for a demonic scythe, maybe, for like bigger damage. Or I could go for some sort of like delay shit. 60% seal. This is good value as well. I think I'd try and proc fire on him. Slash damage. You're done. He is going to get a turn here. Shiva's breath. Okay, it keeps missing a couple of people, which is really big. Alright, good. 750 is not that great. Okay. Yusus, welcome back to reality. I think what we need to do is a uh, noble command here for sure. Strength up and speed up across the board is really nice. Uh, this is where things could get a little bit dicey though. Who doesn't have the shield? Fee and Seda. Seda is in a bit of jeopardy, but I think I just go for paint and kill. We're not going to kill the boss. Seal, maybe we go for this. Try and get the unbalance. Seems to be proccing regularly. Which is good because it's getting us closer and closer to our uh, bravery points and our overdrives. Hey, nice. So he doesn't get a turn. That's big. We need to... I think in here with Seda, I can actually use this heal on myself. And that'll give me a bag of tricks soon as well. It doesn't already. Alright. Let's just go ahead and see if we can keep fucking with this guy. Kind of worried about Fee not having enough CP here. But if she procs this unbalance every single time, I'm going to keep going for it. Because it's given Reen more CP as well. She needs to get another... Uh, seen. Re needs to get another crescent mirror off soon if I can. Ceiling speed, 90%. I'll take it. There's the crit. Burst. Fuck it. We're all in. Let's go. Hey, Shannon, what's up? Mm. Very well. Alright, he even gets the CP up as well, which is big. Is it a noble command back to back? I don't think so. Ceiling freeze. He does, Yusus actually does the most damage here. I think it needs to be this. Well, we've got the the buffs and stuff. Reen, I want you to just use Crescent Mirror, because honestly, if you get this off, we're pretty much immortal. This guy's only doing magic attacks, being from the Mage Lady. And he's probably going to Limit Break me soon, so if we get hit by that, we could be in trouble. I don't know if this actually blocks Limit Breaks, but on the off chance it does, we'll use it now. Looks like the enemy's missing many turns in a row, which is big. And we get all of our buffs replanted on okay. ourselves too, so... Pretty big, honestly. I think Fee's gonna use this turn to just attack. Just to build up some points. Useless, my guy. Steal and freeze. Very low chance, but I'll try it. I'll fish for it. Maybe we get it, maybe we don't. If we land it, we're pretty much gaming. This is it. You're mine. No procs, unfortunately. That's alright. Um, it's gonna just be these, I think, every time. Do we, do we go for like? I, I guess we go for this. I've not found it so far, but we keep getting rocks. So. We didn't get it that time. Reen's got a big ability here. I'm gonna probably flame dragon here. Look for the unbalance. Steal the heal from him. Yeah, we can't be taking a 10% HP heal on the boss at this point. We don't get any fire procs on him, but honestly, this is controlled. I had to take that away from him here. And I hate using Reen's limit break, but... It's, uh, it's a safe time to do it, I think. We might even be able to kill this guy very soon. There's the burn proc. That's huge, guys. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to greed. I'm going to go for the freeze and hope that we survive his limit break because I think he's going to do either a heal here or his limit break. We could finish him off with three limit breaks. I don't know if it's enough to kill him. It's very close. He's going to take the burn tick, but only at the end of his turn, right? Or is it at the start of his turn? I've actually not managed to get the battle scope off in this fight either, which is kind of sad. Can I get a freeze here? Nope. All right, we just have to survive. That's the heal. 
bit sad. A part of me thinks maybe I could have burst them down and killed them there. And we didn't quite get it, which is kind of a shame. Now's our chance. There. Uh, I don't know if we could have got it, guys. I could have went in for the kill, maybe. Let's go for a chrono drive. We still have our shield on us, so that'll protect us. I think the big move must be coming. I hope he can't divine force two turns in a row. That would be ugly as fuck. I'll handle it. <laughs> no procs here. Altair cannon. So that is the limit break. Do we block this with our shield? I'm hoping we do. I hope crit I hope our mirror protects us from this. It does. Huge. It's gonna take a lot of damage from this. It's like 4k. Just kidding. It's weird how the reflect work. It must scale off your magic attack. Alright, I think we're in a good spot for killing him. How do we do it in, a, in the most sensible way possible? I think we want max damage from Yusis, so it's probably a Dark Matter off the rip. And then with Rini, Rini Beanie, he also has a Demonic Scythe, which he can do for 110%. Do two magic attacks here. It should be big. Part of me thinks Noble Command might have been alright there as well. How much does Demonic Scythe do? Probably not that much. Uh, not bad. 8k is not bad. We take those guys, we take those. Alright, um, honestly, I'm looking for like some sort of cheese here. Either a delay or a seal, and then it's good. That's, that's big also. I'm gonna greed for a burst. I'm gonna try and save up for the burst. I think I can proc it. This, this is probably gonna get it as well, yeah. Right, one more, one more proc. My turn. Uh, actually, I'm in a bit of trouble here because he's gonna hit me with something. Is it a noble command, or is it a treasure sword? In this proc, probably a noble command. Put all my teams together. All right, we take a hit here. Hopefully, it misses. Okay, it hits everyone except from Usus. He doesn't care in our attack, but that's all right. I think we can maybe get him. It's very close. It's very close. We've got four limit breaks. There's no way he survives this, right? I don't. I don't think so. I don't think he survives it. I'm gonna commit. Five k damage. I mean, maybe. Oh, Fee's asleep. Oh, I didn't realize she was asleep. Oh, wait a fucking minute. Wait, Usus is frozen. Let's move. I did not realize Fee was asleep. Suddenly, this is super bad. Oh my god. I didn't notice. I should have just pulled the trigger. Holy fuck. Okay, Celestial Bam. It's the boss's turn here as well. 12,000 HP. I mean, realistically. Sarah needs her turn for sure. Fee needs to be on her feet for sure. Boss is going to do some AoE. Eusis is going to miss his turn. Right, let me think about this. Sarah needs to be unstunned. Fee needs to be rezzed. I've got one limit break that I can use at the moment. I didn't realise Fee was on the floor. That's so bad. Right, what is that thing on Sarah, guys? What is that? That problem? What is that thing? That that the the stars is that days? Is what is that? Is that a stun? Um. Is it confuse? How do I check? Uh. That that looks like faint. So I need to cure faint on Sarah. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can dig our way out of this. I've got cure ailments, but I'm wondering if I can get a... Uh... Faint. Mm. Holy fucking shit. If I stand on top of my whole team here, we are in trouble. Seal mute ailments. Heal and cures ailments. Glistening soup. If 
I give this to Sarah. She is online, but the boss is going to move. Eusis is probably going to get clipped. I wonder if I actually move Reen to the other side and hope that the boss aggros him. That might be the only play. It's still kind of doomed, though. Oh, that's so frustrating. I just didn't get a chance to figure out what was going on there. I can do Awakener's Call and summon in Valimar. That might be the play. Might be the play, honestly. Fuck it. If ever I needed him, now's the time. Alright. I've still got Reen's Limit Break as well. If the bird heals itself, we're fucked. Alright. Crafts, what have I got here? Burn 60%, seal 100%, retreats. I think I have to go for Flame Dragon, no? How much damage are we doing to this thing? Oh yeah, that's big. Jiva's Breath. How many turns do I get? Heavenly Slash for 100 CP. Do I get kicked out of this eventually? I forgot how this works. I may be able to just kill it. She's, he's gonna get the crit on me. I have, I have to hope this just kills it. This doesn't kill it, we're doomed. Okay, that looks good. Fuck me. Oh man. Does that mean Fee won't get any XP? What an annoying okay, moment. It's safe for now. Right. Not great, guys. Not the fight that I wanted. Because 24 minutes, I just didn't want to do it again. So I don't get to do my I do get scouter off, which is fine. We don't get bag of tricks, unfortunately. We got our two overdrives, we could have maybe gotten a third. We don't get an overkill. It's not bad, honestly. Does Fee get XP here? Please tell me she does, I'm begging you. She gets zero. That is criminally cringe. Alright, I guess. I didn't realise Fee was unconscious when she missed her turn. Because I was going to attack and then do four limit breaks, we kill the boss, it's GG. Fee could have even used an item to get the bag of tricks proc that I wanted, but she was unconscious. Or she was, like, dazed or something. Really unfortunate. Of all the times, the boss, throughout that fight, when I had the Crescent Mirror on my team, he missed multiple people consecutively, and the one time I didn't have the shield on anyone, he hit everybody twice in a row. He did an attack, hit four, and then he did an attack and hit four. In fact, I think he missed Yusis in one of those, but still sad. Alright, we beat it at least, but... Right. That is brutal, I'm man. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> I've only just I'm kind of sad that this game forced Laura and Emma into my team at the start of the fight as well when I clearly did not have them set up as my party. Not a fan of when the game does that unless it's like some sort of end game stuff that you can prepare for. You know when it says, hey, we're going to split your party in two and then build two teams, when it just shoves Laura and Emma into your squad, it's like... I don't even think Emma has any quartz equipped to her. Like, I don't think she has any stuff. That's just really first. weird. <laughs> Naturally. It finally came, thank god. You just keep it safe if you want. Is it in good condition and stuff? Yeah. Alright, that's awesome kill. Nice. Okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Nice. Alright. We got a new ability, Flash X, which is cool. 50% and delay. That would have been great for this fight, honestly, but... Alright guys, we get there in the end. Tough. Did we defeat it? It felt as though we did at least. Impressive. It seems you can back up your words. Alright. GG, guys. It looks pretty worn out. I'm surprised Grianos can even fly after that. You don't plan to keep on fighting, do you? Hope not. Imagine it just exploded and died. <sighs> no, I think that will do for today. Poor Grianos needs a rest for one thing. Beat up. Um. Well, Emma, you've demonstrated the strength of your resolve. Still, I don't think you need me to remind you that resolve only gains worth when it's seen through to the end. Yes, I know. I'll find a path through life on my own, and I will stop you. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> oh, I can't.
can't see you succeeding in that regard, but feel free to try. I'll leave the last of the treasures in your hands. I'll see you again soon at the Infernal Rite. Bye, Vita. You old cow. No, we love Vita. She's got class. She's got elegance. And a parrot that got his ass kicked. I've never had to summon Valimar to save my skin like that. I actually don't know how Valimar works when he turns up. Um, I don't know how many turns you get to use him for. But I'm glad we were able to finish him when we did. I actually think it would have been too hard. Like, with when I am using Reen, I've got one turn there with Reen and I have to choose very carefully what I do. Do I res Fee? Do I unstun Emma? Or sorry, um, Laura? Do I unfreeze Yusus? Do I use my limit break? I th I actually you don't know what the boss is gonna do. Like if the boss is gonna walk up, if I if I walk over to Res Fee, the boss walks over and AoE slams. Four of my teammates or three of them at l at least are dying. Yusus is missing his turn anyway. And Fee might have been able to dodge and get a counter off, but then Fee is like my weakest member in terms of raw raw damage. She's more utility based. I think that summoning Valmar was literally the only thing I could have done there. I'm just glad I had the EP to do it. I don't think Resin... If the boss had buffed itself and healed itself, it would have been alright. But if the it would have slowed down the fight massively and probably made another 15 minutes out of it, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's a tough call to make. I fucked up not realising that Fee was on the floor, though. She's so small anyway, I couldn't tell she was crouched down. So her turn was coming up, and what I was going to do with Fee was use one more attack, and then just do four limit breaks, and I actually think it would have been fine, but... Who knows? Doesn't matter. We got it. I'm curious as to what she was referring to in her parting words. We made a mistake, guys. We have to be more careful moving forward. What's this infernal right supposed to be? Just how much more than us does she know, I wonder? And about what? What an unpleasant woman. <laughs> Alright, let's go get the ore. That was tough, guys. Didn't expect that. I was expecting a walk in the park, and instead we had quite a challenging, quite a challenging boss fight. My team is all wrecked, by the way, so we probably should heal everybody. Uh, yeah, our heals are a bit weak at the moment. I'm not gonna lie. So maybe if we can make that spell that Dumpster was talking about, we'll be fine. Breath has no effect. Oh, I need to res. Let's do this. Yeah, tough man, tough, 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 but also cool. It's good that Trails can still try and kick my ass. Obviously, the Crescent Mirror ability that Reen has where he shields everybody from magic is kind of was kind of broken in that fight. I think we could have managed our buffs better as well, but like I said, who cares? It's done. We just need to remember and, and keep track of that moving forward. This is the fourth, which means we've been to every spirit shrine we're able to visit. This should be plenty to make Valimar's new Tai Chi. Now we need to get back to George and help him with his work, however we can. And we also need to c contract Professor Schmidt. I still think that sounds like a phony name, dude. Rudolf Schmidt, the janitor. He's not a janitor and he's not called Rudolf, that's a reference. A reference that none of you guys are ever going to get. Okay. Let's get out of here, guys. See what happens. Do a bit of chatting with the squad. I will actually heal just in case there's like some sort of weird encounter waiting on us. I don't think there will be, but there's no harm in popping up other than my paranoia. Up we go. We also need to make sure everyone has a line before we can end the cutscene. Yep. You know it, Dumpster, you know it. Alright, back to the airship and the rest of the chapter. I think this will actually be the end of the chapter, hopefully. I hope it doesn't put me into another fight. We're just going to save our game. I don't know if I could go through with another boss fight right now after that. I'm hoping that is our end of chapter fight and that now our heroes are just going to be chatting nonsense to each other. 66 hours deep in this playthrough, guys. Kind of crazy. Right. Return to the courageous. Here we go. Poor Fee. Missed out on all the all the XPs. It is what it is, though. You can't do much about it. Reen delivered the Zemurian Ore Crystal to George. Ah, right. Four crates with four crystals. And this is where we find that George, George is actually just planning on selling them all on eBay to make profit. This should be enough to make the top, ra top rate Tachi for Valimar. 
Once this is done, I'll finally be able to fight Crow. Can you imagine if George had turned around and said, this won't be enough, we need you to do another four shrines? George, you better not waste any of that, mate. This is going to be significantly more difficult than reinforcing Valimar's existing sword ever was. Remember, we'll be making an entirely new weapon from scratch. I'm not sure we can manage by ourselves. We're going to have to talk to Professor Schmidt from uh, Ruhr, I believe. Was it Ruhr? Whatever, uh, wherever Eusis is from. I think Ruhr is Alicia's say. Choosing to help George make his workshop will cause the main story to advance. I think we have cashed in on our quests, but on the off chance I haven't, let's go to the bridge really quickly. Talk to Prince Oliver here. I'm pretty sure we've done all this. Yeah, nothing to report. So, uh, we're good, right? Check quests. Yep. Alright, that's us. Let's go. I should have probably looked at Emma really quickly, just out of curiosity. Can I, uh... So Emma did actually have... Oh. She had no quartz equipped. <laughs> Emma had no quartz. And the game's like, you must use Emma. Fuck me, man. I mean, I guess for future reference, we just... Oh, bro, it's mad. All right. I wonder when the last time I upgraded Emma's gear was. Like, when was the last time I bought, like, weapons for her? Probably fucking years ago. If I go to the weapons and medicine part of the ship, we'll go have a look at what Emma's... In fact, I can just do it from equipment, right? Emma's using the Belter Rod 2, which I think is her start starting weapon. Um... Interestingly enough, none of her gear is actually that far behind. This could have been upgraded for sure. Oh my god, dude. The battle spikes. Fucking hell. Let's just go quickly uh, look at some of these. Maybe we should just, out of respect, buy some uh, weapons for people. So... Sarah could have had an upgraded weapon as well, actually. Missed that. Uh, where is... Yeah, a lot of... <laughs> Emma gains 400 raw damage. But loses magic? That's a bit weird. Is that because it needs to be upgraded, maybe? Right, fuck it. Wait, is that even... Maybe that's not even her... Is that her weapon? Green could have also had a weapon upgrade as well, I've just come to realise. Oh well, it's whatever. Uh, Ashbringer is a downgrade for Laura, so she's fine. It looks like it looks like Emma and Elliot just share weapons, I didn't realise that. Does, does Emma not get her own weapon? I guess not. Alright, I'll put the Liberator on Emma. And I will upgrade it if I can. How do I do that? Is it this guy? I guess I'd do it down with George down in the factory, is that right? I'm just scared the game sticks another Emma fight in my way again. It's not actually that. Oh, fuck it. We'll not worry about it too much. There isn't actually an upgrade point, is there? What is this? That's general storage and then that's like food and ingredients, I think. So is George the only guy that can tinker with my stuff? Oh, he can't do it because he's working on the fucking... the thingy. Yeah, okay, sure. Hi, George. Oh, wait, never mind. Customize weapons. Sick. The game's smart. So the Executor, we're gonna upgrade this. Fantastic. Help out. Let's do it. Oof, strength doesn't matter for casters, yeah. Well, it does when they run up and do like their follow-up attacks and stuff a little bit, dumpster. Not by much though, I will agree, I will agree. It's like minimalistic in terms of the, the crazy numbers that this game puts out, so... It, it, it's better than nothing, I think, if, if you can afford it, I guess. We're done, I'll call the Institute and invite him on board. You don't mind helping me out some more, right? Choosing to help George make his workshop will cause the main story to advance. As a result, all unfinished quests will disappear. Okay, I'd be happy to. Ready now? Sure. 
Right, let's do it. Let's get it done. He went about making the best looking workspace they could. Afterwards, George made contact with the Ruhr Institute of Technology. And they brought big Professor Schmitty on board. This would have to be very powerful, the engines on this thing. Lift all this stuff. Valimar alone is gigantic. Not quite up to my standards. Yeah, shut it. Professor Schmidt, do, do what you can, mate. We're not bothered in your nonsense. You're literally filler. I didn't expect you to obtain any Zemurian ore at all. Where did you find it? Oh, that's a secret. I'm a man of my word. You did what you were asked, so I'll draft you the finest blueprints the world has ever seen. A project like this is not without a series of trial and error. Can you imagine if Professor Schmidt was not a man of his word and he actually just, like, copped out and he was like, actually, guys, I changed my mind. I can't be fucked. You know, like people do in real life, when they just like fleece on a plan or something. I kind of feel like, uh, imagine if Professor Schmidt was actually like, guys, do you know what? I know you got the ore and I said I was going to do it, but it's been a couple of weeks and I'm kind of tired. So uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. Okay, Professor Schmidt, I guess we'll just cut off your toes. One by one. I mean, what? Anyways, kids game. He and George seem to work really well together, though. George has got his homie here. Everybody gets a dad figure. Okay, good guys, good. Well done. Finally, work on Valamir's touchy began. Professor Schmidt and George worked as quickly as they could. To get ready for the final battle with Crow. While we were working, the Courageous received a sudden and unexpected call. Oh my god, it's my wife. The Rump Queen herself. Are you sure, Captain? Yes, absolutely. Several days ago, the Alliance moved their line of defense around the capital westward which means that the east side of the capital, and in particular, the area around Trista, are much more exposed than before. That could totally work in our favor. Lucky us. Yeah. It sounds like we might finally be able to achieve what we set out to do. We finally have a chance to wrestle the Academy from the Alliance's grasp. Guess the Alliance is so focused on trying to defend Heimdall, they don't have time to worry about Trista. We oh. couldn't have asked for a better chance than this. Thanks, Milliam. Some other news that may be of Almost forgot Milliam well. was in the game. The Noble Alliance forces are no longer the ones supervising Thor's military academy. Instead, they've assigned that task to the upper class students so the army can focus on defending the capital. Why the upper class students? I imagine they were chosen so the academy would technically still be under the control of the nobility. I'm sure they're up to the task either way. Are we talking about all of the upper class students or just a select number of them? The academy is being overseen by a group of students calling themselves the Order of the Lion. The group is centered around high-ranking nobles, and its commander is one of the sons of Marquis High Arms, Patrick T. High Arms. Hey, this is Patrick. Wow. Patrick? Oh no. I'd heard that he was still at the academy, but just what is he doing? How long before Alfin gets Elaine? And what's this Order of the Lion? Bunch of douchebags. <laughs> I know nobles love tradition, but that name sounds like something torn from a history textbook. Other key members include the son and daughter of Count Florald, together with a butler and maid from the upper class dormitory. To my knowledge, the principal and the other instructors remain imprisoned within the academy. Look at this guy. However, this guy's the best character. Ferris is taking part too. He's the bug guy. If I had to wager a guess, the Alliance ordered them to. Not like they're in a position to refuse. That's a little worrying. Principal Van Dyke is an honorary general of the army as well, mm -hmm. so naturally, the army is concerned for his well-being. As such, we of the RMP are preparing to liberate Trista and the Academy from the nobility. It will be carried out before the battle for Heimdall can begin, using our most elite units. Og. Oh. But, but that means... Captain. Captain! Look! Would you consider postponing your operation for at least a few days? Uh-oh. Green. We gotta we gotta get the hot springs episode in. Do you not think the RMP is up to the task? The beach episode. I don't doubt for a moment that you are, but since the day we were entrusted with the courageous, no, even before that, liberating the academy has been our dream. I still find it hilarious that like all these like military parties and political parties still consult this group of kids in the middle of the war. Like the railway military police. They're turning into this like <laughs> Class of 14 year olds and they're like, Hey, how about you tell us what to do next? And Reen's like, yes, I'll, let me get my pit, my podium. I don't just mean class seven stream either. It's cute in a way, I don't hate it. It's just funny when you think about it. 
I guess these games you have to try and not think too hard sometimes. It's something that every single student gets. I know they're getting older in that, right? They're not actually 13, right? But right? say it's our duty. It's just silly sometimes. Whether someone else could handle it isn't the issue. It's what we've come this far for. Thank you, Reen. <sighs> well, there it is. Thanks, Claire. I feel the same way as Reen does. I feel like when they recorded the sex noises for this game, basically the grunts and the sighs. I feel like they actually asked the voice actors and actresses to step, like, six inches closer to the mic. Because it's not like they just go, uh, oh. it's literally like, either it's been turned up 200% gain or it is so close, it's like, uh, like every single time, dude. Thor's was established by one of my ancestors. I can't get over it. I feel a connection to it in that sense. It feels only right that those who have an attachment to the Academy should come together to take it back. She's absolutely I love right. it in a way. It's cute. Oh my god, Angelica. We've come all this way believing it Wait. would lead us back to the academy. Angelica, I thought you were gone. We can't just leave the last step of our journey to you. After all that's happened, I think we're the ones who should be fighting that order of the lion, don't you? Angelica, come back to my team, please. You were great. Yeah, you're right. Yep, it's gotta be us. We've all put an enormous amount of effort into making it this far. <laughs> We wouldn't be setting a very good example as second years if we didn't see tasks we've taken on through to the end. Who the fuck are these guys? I want to go and save Uncle Makarov too. Uncle That's Makarov. Right there. No, we don't save. We don't save Makarov. He's a bad, bad man. Come on now, Captain Price is already dealing with him. <laughs> I'm pleased to see we're all unanimous. Not Makarov, Jesus. Yeah, I want to do this too, Claire. No Russian. Really, Milliam? You too? You too, Milliam? So, Captain. Please, Stop that. won't you leave taking back Trista and the Academy to us? Well, we realize we're asking a lot, but this is genuinely important to us. When I finally see Dad again, I want to be able to look back and feel proud of all I've done. I was never raised to beg, but in this case, no price is too great. <laughs> wow. Use this. <laughs> I was never raised to beg, but I need some help, please, from you peasants. I wasn't expecting to get quite so strong a reaction from you. It's almost like we went to different schools. Claire's like, do you know what? I actually decline your offer. I've never felt quite the I'm bombing the city tonight. The Academy, all of you clearly Claire, no! The Rump Queen shall lead wherever she wants. And it's a little strange for me to see how much each of you are willing to sacrifice just so you can liberate Trista together. Mm. <laughs> but strange in a good way. Is that a yes? We'll wait two days. Two days? You just want to sunbathe. Trista will form a vital base in our operation to take Heimdall. I only need it ten needs minutes. To be liberated as soon as possible. I hope that will be enough time for you to achieve your dream of taking it back. All right. <sighs> Thank you, Captain. Captain. <laughs> if you weren't with the RMP already, you'd make a hell of an actress. You know, you put on quite a show for someone who was gonna say yes all along. <laughs> and what makes you say that? Who cares? We're done with the scene. I look forward to seeing you all again in Heimdall after this war is over. Love you, Claire. Thank you. Bye, Claire. Write me, Claire. Follow me on Twitter, Claire. Good luck to you too, Captain. Captain! Goodbye! Okay. We did it. Looks like we're gonna go and take back the school. Mainly, Class 7 was granted permission to liberate Trista. They left deciding the specifics of the operation. Oh. Oh, yeah. Toa's gonna take over. That's fine. Eventually, it was decided that they would carry out the mission on the same day. A prototype of Valimar's new Tachi was completed. Oh. Prototype Tachi, it's Gundam wing time. So are we in the next chapter? This is a long black loading screen. Is it coming back or... Hello? Feels a cold still? Oh my god, that's the end of game two. Imagine it just came up. Thank you for playing. Please buy disc three. <laughs> Where's my game win? It's fucking died. <laughs> where, where is it? Oh, it's actually unironically. My game is actually dead. My PS5 is not responding at all. If anybody is watching this on YouTube and you guys have a bug like mine and maybe you found this video on YouTube because of the error, the, the gimmick, guys, is to just hold circle. I know that sounds fucking ludicrous. If you hold circle through the dialogue, through Claire speaking on the monitor, it will literally skip the problem, or at least it did for us. To be clear, we we turned off vibration settings on the controller. That's something someone mentioned online. I don't know if that actually affects it or not. But we are also playing the PS4 version of this game on a PS5. Okay? So just to be clear. 
If anybody's at all curious. As you already know, I won't be taking part in this. Because you never know when this so might archive for someone else and then they need to get past the error as well. My job as your teacher is to stay here and wish you luck. Thank you. We've still got some time until then, so it might be worth going around and making sure we've got all we need. Yeah. We can't Whew. be too prepared. Well done, folks. Well done, Jesse. Incidentally, how comes the development of Valimar's Tachi? The prototype was finished last night. There's still some work left before it's completely finished. He did that fast. But personally, I'd say the progress we've made is nothing to scoff at. Professor Spitz really is something, isn't he? I guess. But he could lighten up a little. I went to go play down in his workshop and he was all super mad at me. Were you expecting to be welcomed with a hug and some candy? Anyway, by the sound of it, he's going to keep finding ways to improve it <laughs> until the very last minute. I'm going to be swamped with helping him out, but... I should still be able to tune your Arcus units if you guys need it. We just Ooh. might take you up on that, George. George. Whatever ensures you're as ready as Curious possible. George. So much is resting on this battle. I don't want us to go in with any regret. Right. Same. Is this actually the final boss? All members of Class 7 will take part in the battle for Trista. Whether whether they are actively in the party or not. As such, make sure to check everyone's equipment, including that of characters you may not ordinarily use. At least it tells you here. So fair play. Advance the main story, speak to Toa in the captain's chair, and click commence. Guys, welcome back. Um, we have just spent a good hour and a half reorganizing our characters, and so far they look like this. Our stats are on the left if you guys want to compare to your own save file. My main team, of course, is going to be Reen, Fee, Yusus, and Sarah. And then my backup party is probably going to be some sort of weird wacky combo with like Laura, Alicia, Emma, maybe Gaius or Machias. Milliam doesn't exist, we don't talk about her. Just kidding. Milliam, one day I'll maybe use you in Trails 3, but now is not that time. This is my equipment and my gear. I have taken the liberty with the chat here. They've been very patient with me. We've upgraded our weapons on all of our main squad and obviously all of the armor as well. We may have access to better gear as soon as the next chapter starts, but all I know is that the game has told me we're going into the final kind of end zone aspects of the game. And so therefore, this is a time to prepare, and so we have done so. I have absolutely no money left, which you can see down in the bottom right. We have also bought some new stuff for feet in terms of accessories. We really spent a lot of money. This was like 50 grand. I think one of these was 15 grand and the other one was 50. So Fee now has an extra 15% dodge chance. She's got better accuracy built in and she's got some extra resistances, which is really nice. Um, plus now she's got an extra bunch of speed. So Fee is by far and above our fastest character. Uh, Reen's still rocking the gladiator stuff, but we might change that later. We've had a lot of discussions, good discussions about this in the chat, and uh, it might be that um, these um, CP recovery turns are best off on other people, so it's uh, worth considering. Yusus still has some speed on his Dark Emblem, and this here looks like it could be adjusted, actually. I've just caught wind of this. His Nord Bracelet. Uh, let's see if we can go ahead and replace that with something better. For example, um, something like this, the Bunny Watch. Uh, straight off the bat. Normally I like having my healers um, having like mute. I like having prevention of mute or seal on our healers so that they can actually take their turns. I'm kind of nervous here uh, but this is what Fee had on before. Prevents delay. I mean given uses plus 4 speed is no joke plus the HP and the EP is quite nice on him. Uh, that might be the case. I'm also not against giving him flat HP to be honest. But again, he will be kind of susceptible to uh, stuff that I really don't want my healers to be caught by. I think as we get further into the late game, there will be more and more bosses that have a bunch of like debuffs to your team. And if you do, if you get caught by that, you will get caught in a cycle of pain. So delay, vanish, and death blows. Honestly, I'm not really too fussed about these. Uh, but for example, seal and mute is something that we are we have to be kind of careful with. I think for the time being, I am happy. Putting, um, I think we can get away with putting this on him just for the flat speed, but yeah, that's maybe something we need to look at. Sarah has a bunch of crit, which uh, we've been again chatting about with the chat. Sarah's got this quartz where, because oh, we've, I've showed you that guys this a bunch before, but if you just want an explanation, um, Sarah has an extra 20% crit chance on her regular and her crafts, but not her magic. Uh, apparently, there is a quartz. The chat has told me there's a quartz here that actually allows for your arts to crit and, and we don't have that which means that we can only crit on our crafts and attacks which is a bit of a shame but when she does crit which is 40% of the time on her attacks and crafts she will do an extra bunch of damage and then in addition we also have domination which means the first attack every battle does times two damage so Sarah off the rip is going to be pretty powerful but then after that she might sag a little bit 
We'll see how it gets on, and if it sucks, we'll change it, but that's what she's doing for the time being. I think for the most part, that's all I have to cover. These are the quartz, very carefully, if you guys are interested. So, um, feast your eyes on this. This is not by far and above the best setup for any of these heroes. In fact, there's probably a lot of problems, and there's maybe even a lot of you guys on YouTube years in the future looking at this going, why have you done that, and why have you done this? Um, you guys can ask questions if you like. Make sure you timestamp if this is on YouTube. Make sure you timestamp if you're asking questions. And if it's completely and utterly dumb, then it could just be that our setups are just bad. But uh, for the most part, we should be okay. V is the only one that is not level 114. The only thing I've got left to do is organize some tactics. So I think I'm going to put Fee here. And we'll probably just do it like this. I think Yusus and Reen are going to bound together. Although in saying that, um, Fee and Sarah really don't have a lot of uh, setups together. It just seems like uh, we're getting a raw deal whenever... Yeah, the bond between these two characters just sucks. I would like to get counter-attack for both of these guys, covering counter-attack, but... It's whatever. There might be a better bo uh, bonding session here, honestly. Maybe between... Cover Rush and two... I'll just say that, that. Cover Rush. I mean, Reen, I think Reen's providing the, uh, the cover and the Rush aspects, but... Whatever. I mean, Fee's gonna get a lot of turns, so theoretically binding her to Reen would be good because there's more opportunities for synergy, so I really don't hate that. Um, plus this way Yusus gives over art support, I guess. Bit weird, honestly. Realistically, Yusus could also potentially go here in the back so that I can noble command from the center of the team. Don't hate this idea. Could do something like this. Something weird. This is probably the setup. I've got Laura and Emma here, but they might leave after this chapter's done anyway, so yeah. That's it. The only thing we have to do, guys, is we're going to go to the bridge and talk to Toa, but I have noticed this little yellow marker has appeared in the game room, which means that we're going to go and uh, play one set of, one game of Blade with one friend, which is going to lead into a special interaction. I think this is the equivalent of the date scene from the first Trails of Cold Steel, but I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and look at the link. Who does Reen actually need a boost on from my main team? It's probably looking like it's going to be... It's Yusus, Fee, or Sarah. Uh, realistically, nobody can get an actual level up here with Reen other than Fee. I really don't want to play cards with Fee, though. That feels really awkward. Um, I could obviously spend some time with Alicia and get her to level 5, I guess. Uh, it just feels so bad. I guess we're committing to Fee. It feels so weird. I could also commit to Sarah. I don't know what will happen here. Let's just have a look and pick. Who would you like to play Blade 2 again? So there was a bit of a spiel here, but we've clicked over it in our, uh, when I wasn't recording, so apologies for that. Who would you like to play Blade 2 against? This is going to lead into a special scene. I'm actually tempted to pick Sarah. Fee would make the most sense, but I really don't want to go on a date with Fee. Everything in my body is screaming, no, that's weird. Although I know a lot of you guys like Fee, so uh, fair play to you guys. We picked Emma, I think, in Trails 1. There was a tie-up between Emma and Laura, but we ended up picking Emma. Alright, let's go hang out with Sarah. See what this leads into. Probably a drunken alcoholic bender. Don't judge me. I don't know if we actually have to give her an ass whipping at cards or not. I've not watched you play this yet. The team building looks super intricate and fun. It's very good flip, yeah. It's one of the best parts about these kind of games. Damius, welcome to the stream. Hey, guys. Go on. Alright, so this is Blade. This is a small card game for the most part. It shouldn't matter too much. <laughs> I'm up first. Mirror. Uh, so she's swapped our first card, which means she's got five up on us. I could mirror that, to be honest. Realistically, what I want to do is just take over her ever so slightly. But I don't have a lot of good cards here, which is kind of a shame. I might actually just mirror off the rip, because five's a decent, a decent change. Yeah, let's just do it. What? She's going to lead with a 6 off the bat. This is exactly where I want her to be. So we're going to play a 2 to take the lead. Time to power up. Uh, she's just gained 8 power. I've never seen that card before. Basically what we have to do is match her so that she can't play a shitty card. Which is probably what she's going to do here. If I play a 4 for example it only takes me to 13. Which means she could play a 2 and still be tied with us. Does she have a 2 though? I don't know. Maybe it's not bad to play a 4 here. Okay, that's not how I thought the game worked, but I guess you just lose. I thought it was until you ran out of cards. 
okay, never mind. I hate my life. Sorry. I didn't think that's how the game operated, but oh well. Sarah, you absolute scumbag. Don't get too reckless. I know everyone's going to be working together for the big academy rescue, but before that, you and Valamar are going to have your fair share of battles to fight on the way there. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. We maybe should go and have a look at Valamar's info, actually. At this point of the story, for anybody that's interested, we're coming up for the final aspects of the game, guys. The final kind of chapters, the final acts, if you like. It could be an hour, it could be 10 hours. I don't actually know. Um, it's probably not going to be 10 hours, but often these games will have boss fight after boss fight after boss fight and they get progressively harder sometimes even in gauntlet format now i'm not saying that's going to be the case in this game but if we were to lose the second boss fight and then have to do the first one again i wouldn't be surprised so bear that in mind um, we're just going to enjoy it for the most part and take it one fight at a time and just see how things go but maybe i should have actually had a look in on valamar down in the the garage area when we were i've been adjusting so much of my character's weapons armor and accessories and quartz that I forgot all about Valimar, but maybe that's something I should go and consider. Right, we're probably going to get a bond enhancement here with Sarah. Get 800 points. Again, we could have spent that on fee to get the level up, which wouldn't have been bad, but... Yeah, let's go down to the hole really quickly and check out to see if Valimar can actually be... This girl here often offers me orbs, so if I go to insert orbs, what have we got at the moment? We've got health orb 3, power orb 2, and speed orb. See, I wouldn't be surprised if we could make new orbs so let's just have a quick peek of that can we make orb th yeah so we can make speed orb three uh, i would need an action three to do that however that's something i could go and craft that i wouldn't be against attack three and speed three let's go and make both of these guys and just make sure valamar is completely and utterly sorted so we're gonna need to speak to george in order, order to do this but i think this is definitely worth our time so, I don't have these on hand, but luckily George can craft orbs. So if we go to Quartz, we should be able to just make these off the bat. This will just make our lives a whole lot easier. So attack 3, for example, 900 of our remaining Sepith. Uh, I think this is worth our time for sure. And then the last one was action 3, correct? There we go. We're a bit shy on uh, some of these crystals now, so if we find out later on we need to unlock some more slots which again is something we could have done actually now that i think about it let me just before we go back and do that if i go to slots the only reason i would maybe want to do this in some of our final characters is because you actually do gain ep for uh for your character permanently when when you unlock these so i probably want to have a consideration of these so for example this one is not cost me a lot but it gives fee an extra 30 ep will fee need a lot of ep probably not but there's no harm in uh, throw in some of these uses definitely could do with some ep so let's go ahead and upgrade this and then say that again as well probably going to need a lot of ep most gladly upgrade here and probably again honestly better to be safe than sorry because if we go into a boss fight and i need to cast one more spell to defeat the boss i know it's a very exaggerated example and scenario hypothetically speaking however i have played video games in the past guys where i'm like one damage or 10 mana short of killing the boss and then I can't do it because I don't have enough energy and that is the saddest way to go so let's go ahead and create some of these we're going to create power orb 3 this is going to cost us 50 new materials but honestly I'm not against doing it what else can we get defense nah, I think we go offense here we're going to make this power orb 3 and we're also going to make speed orb 3 and there we go that's that all sold out now so what I want to do is insert these and make sure that Valamar is is as fast as he possibly can be so power we're gonna gain raw strength here 500 and speed we're gonna go from yeah 110 to 120 by the looks of things just gonna be a little bit faster a little bit better and this is it looks like he's max juiced out at this point so i'm glad we clocked that because if i hadn't went and played blade with sarah she did say that valimar and we were gonna have to do a bunch of battles together let's go ahead and do one last save file guys i'm not gonna save over the last one but i'm gonna make a backup here and that way, if anything goes awry, we realise we've screwed ourselves, we can load an easier save. But I think for the most part, we're good to go. We're going to dive right in. Um, A lot of us are big Trails fans. At Mr. Flip played 1 to 4 can recommend. Yeah, these games are quite expensive, guys. The Trails games. These, these games came out a long time ago, which means 
uh, from a graphical standpoint they can be a little bit dated at times uh, they're certainly by no means bad they do just fine but what you guys have to understand i think some of these games were originally made for like the 3ds or the psp or some shit and then uh, later on upscaled to the console so these are ps4 um era of games so they do look a little bit um they can look a little bit weird at times and when you're paying the only reason i mention that is because often when you buy these games are like 40 quid but if you catch them on a sale which they come on sale regularly you'll get a huge discount on them and then uh, it's worth diving into. If you're looking for a kind of long paced GRPG with lots of customizations, lots of characters to choose from, then absolutely I'd recommend the Trails games. I have a review on my YouTube channel for Trails 1, which I think does contain spoilers, but if you want to, if you want to hear all the good things that I like about this series and then all the things that I maybe think I wasn't fond of, make sure you check that out. You can find that in my quick review playlist on YouTube. For the most part, we're going to dive right in, I think. Draco, what's up? Welcome. How are we doing? Trails is notorious for spreading out the final showdowns over, like, full three-length dungeons. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think, although I've said that we're kind of close to the end game, I don't know how close we actually we actually are, guys. But it's much better. Final Fantasy VII materia system combined with Final Fantasy X-ish style turn-based combat. Mm -hmm. Uh, you always need to have a higher total number than them, um, I think. What do you mean, Dumpster? What was that in record? In re that was in regards to something I've just done in the last 15 minutes. Oh, you're talking about the, the Blade game. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. But yeah, would recommend, guys. Uh, like I said, these games are expensive when they're not on sale, but they'll, they'll be on sale regularly. I don't know if you can play this on Steam. Are the Trails games on Steam, guys? I can't remember. We're playing on the PlayStation uh, 5 right now. But it is a PS4 purchase. I think Trails might even be available on the PlayStation now. Which is like the Netflix kind of PlayStation store that you can maybe use. But they are on Steam. Okay, cool. Steam store is where I got mine. Alright, perfect. Thanks, Skill. Okay, let's talk to Acting Captain Tua. It's almost time for us to do what we've been working towards since the day we were given this ship. The Order of the Line is the only thing that stands in our way. I never expected the Student Council President role would come up with this kind of baggage, but I'm ready. Alright. Toa, interestingly enough, it appears in other Falcon games as a kind of weird universal crossover. So if you guys have ever played Tokyo Xanadu, which is another Falcom kind of standalone RPG, also made for a mobile device but ported later on, years later, to the console, Toa is actually a character that appears, which is really weird. It's like playing Digimon and then seeing fucking Misty running around or something. Anyways, we are just going to commence the operation. We're going to dive straight in, guys. We've Spent so long preparing, we need to actually move forward. Everyone's equipment will need to be at its very best. That includes Valimar. Already got that covered. All members of Class 7 will take part in the battle for Trista. Whether they are in the active party or not, make sure to check everyone's equipment. I have done this to a certain degree, guys, as much as I possibly could. Um, our main party is definitely ready to go. Our backup parties are going to definitely suffer. But they should be fine, hopefully. The decisive moment is almost upon them. Those taking part... Corrugated, uh, congregated on the bridge for one last review. Alright, prepare for this. They love talking in these games, so prep your butts. Right, let's go over everything again just to be safe. Did my heart sink so <laughs> when I see this? First, here's what we know about Trista. Here's a bit of a catch up for anybody who's at all confused as to what's going on. This will be a nice kind of 10 minute spiel to get you guys in the zone. If you're wondering who the big boob lady with the leather jacket is, that's Angelica. She was a playable character, but she's not a playable character at the moment, which I'm kind of sad about because I low-key, I'm in love with her. The majority of all the Alliance forces that were uh, were there have withdrawn, but some still remain defending the town's east side. So we're basically infiltrating a town that was previously held by a huge military force. The military force has moved slightly to um, deal with another, part, another aspect of the war, and we're going to try and penetrate and kind of pincer her in around the back. It's likely that the moment we approach Trista, we're going to come under attack by the Soldats stationed there. Soldats are like giant Gundam uh, robot characters. This is the first time we'll be able to see what the, Z the Zemurian or Tachi prototype is capable of. This is a giant sword we've had crafted for our own Gundam robot. After you've liberated Trista, Reen, you and the rest of Group A will head directly to the Academy's front gate. And not that anyone here could possibly forget, but you'll have the world's most adorable captain accompanying you. I'd have to say I don't know how I feel about her being on the front lines. I can't help but agree, but we've been, uh, you've been a tremendous support to us, of course, but this is the first time you'll be taking an active role in combat. So this is Toa. Toa is the small captain that runs the airship. 
Don't you worry about me. I'm a military academy student just as much as you guys. I can put up a good fight. I won't get in the way or hold you back. Promise. Okay. Now that we're talking, now you're talking. Groupie's primarily primary objective uh, will be to escort Toa safely to the academy so she can work her magic. So it's literally an escort mission. We're gonna breach in, protect Toa at all costs. Angelica, are you joining us? Yep. I doubt I'll make much of a substitute for Sarah, but I'll give it my best shot. After Group A's off the courageous, me and the rest of the Group B will fly around in the back of the academy and charge in. Attacking from both sides at the same time sounds like a solid plan. Let's just hope it works. Okay. Everybody's going to agree that this is a good plan. One would think you'd be a little more nervous considering what you're about to do. Princess Alfin. Talking about how badass we are. We don't have to read all this. My voice is already cracking. Thank you! So she gives us some praise words, we tell her we love her. Toa does the anime arm. It's time to take back the academy. So Trails 1, without spoiling anything, because I know some of you guys haven't played the series. A lot of you guys who are watching on YouTube probably have. Or at least have maybe watched the first playthrough on YouTube. Um, The first kind of game you spend a lot of time in the actual school, doing missions and doing stuff. Now the school has come under attack and has been taken over by the enemy, we're going to take it back. Which is cool. Tower has a special craft called Weakener. Using Weakener on an enemy inflicts a status aptly calling, uh, called Weak upon them. Alright, Toa's actually been... Dude, even at this point in the game, they're adding new characters. Uh, yeah, sure. Balance down arts efficiency up 50%. So look, if we use Toa's ability, we can uh, just deal more damage, I guess. Yeah, cool. Okay. Select the characters which will form Group A, the group that would enter to Trista. Members not selected for Group A will automatically be recruited into Group B, led by Angelica. So Toa's coming with us and we can't do anything about it. I think I'm just going to take my main team, guys, and we're just going to not look back. Although in saying that, Seda is not available, which is a massive yikey doodle dandy. Let's go ahead and just take Yusus and Fee, and then our support characters will probably be Alicia and probably Laura. That gives me a nice balance. So I've lost one of my magic dealers, so maybe it's... I don't think it'll matter too much. Toa's actually going to be an actual playable character. That is so whack. Alright, I really hope the game gives me back Seda. If not, I'm going to cry fucking real tears. Um, I think I'm going to take the weaker healer and leave Emma to stay on the other team in case I actually need to play as the other team, which I probably likely will have to do. Because all these shitters are going to go to the other team, so I have to bear that in mind. Fuck, maybe I take one of my shitter characters here, actually. Maybe I take Alicia here. Or, sorry, I take Elliot instead of Alicia. Did I do it that way? Did I do it this way? Maybe I take two shitters, actually. And just leave the best characters for the other team. That's probably for the best. Alright, fuck it. Equip all characters with the best possible equipment in your possession. Oh, fuck. Let's just go. This operation is bound to be the most significant battle we've fought to date. We can't afford anything to go wrong. I do appreciate that um, the game has given me many chances to rearrange my team, but... During the liberation of Trista, you will only be able to use a single Link partner during Divine Knight battles. Choose someone whose bonding event you didn't see in Barahard to make their final event available if you meet all other conditions. Choose someone whose bonding event you didn't see in Barahard to make their final event available. Uh, I have no idea what that means. I'm assuming this has to be a high-level character. Instructor Sena? Who will be your partner? Realistically, I want somebody who does, like, speed boosts. Which I think is Fee. Fee is level 5 as well, so... I'm thinking that she would have a scene. I just think it's so bad. Maybe Alicia? Alicia does stuff. Oh, fuck, are we really doing this? Uh, Someone who you won't see... It said. So is this someone who's on the other team? I.e. Alicia? I actually have no idea what's going on. Toa is totally a traitor, isn't she? No, I hope not. I don't I don't think so anyway. Trails is meant to be a sort of epic, so multi-act, massive character cast, lots of viewpoints, which is why all the Trails games tie into each other, yeah. Oh fuck, dude. Am I taking Alicia? Who will be your partner? Sure. She sat in my lap once. We're doubling down. I'm not really sure how that was. There was a lot of wording, and I don't know based on locations who's going where, but we'll sort this out and see if it works.
Thank you, uh, Skill Tree. The game is telling you that if you miss the ladder, you can still trigger that scene for the character you choose. Okay, fuck it. Tales is a series of games keep being kept recommended to me, but I never grabbed them. I wouldn't buy them all at once, guys, because the games are long and they're expensive, but I would definitely buy the first one. You can start with Trails 1 if you want to, by the way. Trails of Cold Steel 1. It's technically not the first, but it's definitely like a good starting point in the series. Because it's fairly modernised and it's fairly... Um, pretty good. And then if you really like the games, you can play the rest of the Trail series and then go into the other ones too. It's time, let the operation begin. Right. Get ready to go, Valimar. Let's see if you can pull it off. Take care, guys. Alright. I'm very sad that they've taken Seda off of me, but... Maybe it's for the best. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have to go fight some uh, robot battles. Hope you guys are mentally prepped for this. Small Gundam, big Gundam, who's in here? You'll have to fight us first, brats. It's time for the Crimson Wings to fall from the sky. Crimson Wings is us. The, the, the ship that we're on. Uh-oh. I'm assuming Valimar's gonna kick some ass here. Never mind, we've got evasive maneuvers. This is gonna be tricky. I think it's time. I think we're going in with our new Tai Chi. Let's go, Valimar. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Alright, here we go. We're going in deep, boys. What's up, mate? We've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. Can we build two robots? Prepare to be overwhelmed by Goliath and Kestrel, the perfect marriage of strength and speed. Alright, so we got Tanky Boy and Fast Boy. This isn't good. They might be the copies of the Divine Knights, but that Kestrel is much faster. If you let them work together and have their own way, we're going to be in trouble. Time to force our way through, Valimar. Certainly. Here's the sword. Oh! He just pulled that out of his back pocket, did he? He might have put it on his back. He might have animated it on his back, no? I mean, I guess he's already... he's holding it. I mean, that'll do. We've, we've got a big-ass sword. Let's see how powerful it is. Right, guys. These battles can be a bit tedious at times, but with a bit of luck, we'll be okay. We have upgraded Valimar to the max, so I'm praying that uh, he's going to be strong enough. Let's see what we can do. So it has been a while since I've used any of these. Obviously, turn one, we can only attack. We can go for the big guy or the small guy. I'm thinking we take out Smalley first. There's three pin. There's three points on him that I can go for. One of these is going to be his weak point. His, uh, his sword's in his hands. I guess we go for his... Uh, Exposed sword arm? Nice, that was good damage. No problem. And now Alicia's here as well. So Alicia can do... Restores 20 CP, grants a holy blessing, or we can do Lordly Flare. Let's have a look and see what these guys are weak to. We can also charge if we want to. This guy is 100% weak, weak to burn, and he's also vulnerable to fire, so that's actually kind of good. Um, This guy is weak to wind. So it makes sense that we go for this guy first, because he is actually exposed. Let's go ahead and do... Yeah, let's just do it. Hopefully this hurts him a lot. If we proc a burn on him, it's massive GG's. Two 21,000 damage is good. Alright. We seem to be okay at the moment. We seem to be quite fast as well. Our crafts, two rapid strikes. I think we just build this up. And we'll... Um, Go for Flame Dragon later. Or maybe even some of these better ones. Let's, uh... Looks like that's a two-star. Let's go for another part of him. See if we can go for his head here. Ah, oh, shit. We cry real tears. It is what it is. Sometimes the game hates you. So we miss our first attack. We've got plenty of uh, HP, though. We haven't quite gotten enough to do other abilities. Oh yeah, so his head was two star and his arm was two star. We just happened to miss the head, which is kind of sad. Let's go body. There's a crit. That's good. That's what we want. That's what we want to proc. It's working. Looks like we're doing a lot. We're gonna take two hits here, but we're CP. Our CP's getting charged massively, so. I think we can randomly. Can we randomly dodge some of these attacks? I think we can, right? Um, if we now know that he is super vulnerable in the chest, I think we just go for that over and over. You can still Let's miss go. those attacks, by the gotcha. way, but... 
Luckily, we're just doing so much damage here. No problem. Don't think we even have to worry about healing or anything. Restore 50% HP, 30 CP, and consumes 400 EP. I don't think we need to do that. I think we just kill this guy. I think we just go for the big damages. We are so tanky and we're so fast, so... Seems to be working out quite well for the time being. If you take one of these guys out, the fight should get remarkably easier. Hopefully these guys don't go into, like, um, powerful mode or something where they do a ton of damage to me. Now we're down a half HP, but I think killing this guy is probably a priority. We didn't get the crit. We've also got a lot of CP here. But at least he's got a turn coming up. I think we just finish him. The only thing is, we have to be kind of worried that, um... These guys do, like, multiple attacks in a row. Right, so we can go for a heal here, although I'm not that scared. We will get a 50% heal. Allow me. And uh, now we should be able to just finish them off. See ya. Curse you. We don't get the, well, we get the crit, but we don't get the follow-up charge, which is a bit of a bummer. Great, just one more. Now it's just biggie. Alright, we know that this guy is weak to wind damage, but I'm not allowed to swap my characters at the moment. Uh, Morning Moon is the defensive stance. Evades without failing, counters 30% chance. He's only going to get one attack because we're so fast, so I think we just go for Heavenly Slash, honestly. Three Deadly Slash is 100% chance to unbalance. This guy doesn't have any targets on his body. He only has one, so let's just go for this. And we also seal him. Which means he's going to miss his first turn, which is huge. No problem. Um, we could charge here again. I don't think we need to, though. Store uh, 20 CP three turns. This guy doesn't really have any weakness to fire, so I think we just do this. Let's just do Blessed Arrow. It's CP recovery. We're so quick, so this is, like, pretty good. Um, and then after that, I think we just do... 60% chance to unbalance. I see. I see. we just attack him. He actually does have multiple body parts, actually. He's got his left arm, his right arm, or his torso. Let's go torso. Fuck it. It's probably where he's most blocked, to be honest. Now we will charge. Seems like it's fairly chill. Alright. We just go in for the Heavenly Slash again. Why not? Apparently we have to do a few of these battles in a row, so maybe this is just the starter. Uh, we'll just build up to Unite, why not? Unite's like the power move. I can do this. I can show you the world. Do we want to just bless a blessed arrow again? We don't get a lot of value on it, so we'll just do Lordly Flare. Hey, Digital Descendant, your mech has a penis protector. I mean, everybody needs a penis protector. It's 2023, Digital Descendant, come on. You don't want your robot to be kicked in the balls at the wrong moment, that's for sure. Let's go uh, right arm, fuck it. Technically it's his left. Alright, we're gonna get our Unite finish in a second. This guy's kinda shit, man. I was expecting like a big move from him. And I'm kind of confused that we've not seen that yet. I think we finish him here. Heavenly Slash, 1, 2, 3, big damage. We maybe even seal him, and then we unite. If there's a follow-up to this, we cry. But I'm going all in. Pew, 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 pew. Big. See you later, mate. Hopefully there's not a follow-up fight to that immediately takes part. Ah, uh, yeah, Alicia goes all the way up to level 5. Cool. Sure. Ha! Craft's only hit one part, yeah. You're right, you're right. Okay. Unlucky heavy gear, bro. Oh, look. He didn't have a penis protector on his arms and therefore he loses both, chat. It's just the way of the world. Either get prepared or get good or die. Talking about uh, taking both out at once is impressive enough. Not bad for a prototype. That just leaves the interface then. If only he were here. Who is he? Professor, where are you? Oh, forget it. Professor Schmidt is leaving us. 
Curcio. We're withdrawing. Rendezvous with the forces near Heimdall immediately. Yes, sir. Okay. Believe in that me that believes in you. And your drill will pierce the sky. Yeah, what do you know about drills? Mm -hmm. With Kestro and Goliath defeated, the Noble Alliance forces stationed near Trista fled. Green stepped out of Valamar and regrouped with Toa and then selected members of Group A on the ground. After seeing off Group B and the Courageous, they set foot into the town they so adored. It's been a while. Oh, and it's ominously quiet as well. Spooky. Oh, there's no people, no music, no happiness. Hey, the flower shop's looking banging, though. I think flower shops only look that good in the anime chat. Surely. Do you think a flower shop would make that much uh, business here? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Trista so quiet before, though. Same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Seeing our dorm again really brings back memories, though. All those time Reen pumped the entire cast one after another. Just gonna move my webcam over slightly. Okie okay, dokie. Thanks for being here today, ago, folks. This was our home. Thanks for all the subs, the resubs. Just a few months ago, this was our home. It's finally dawning on me that we're actually back. Back in good old Trista. Back to the place where we first met. That's for sure. We certainly took our sweet time getting back here, though. Even if Crow and Sharon have yet to return, I'm glad that we have. But we're almost there. <laughs> now, on to the Academy. Not much farther to go. We're still hoping that sh ah, should have known it'd be you guys. Crow, Crow gonna become a goody, question mark? Oh, it's Farmer Buzzard. Nicked. Dude, this guy un unironically looks like Mads Mikkelsen. Glad to see you're alive. And kicking. I guess it's good to see you kids back here too. You'll be glad to know that the townsfolk are the same as ever in spite of all this. Okay. Oh my god. It's small Jimmy and his wife. Hey, it's class seven. <laughs> You're all back. You're always class seven. Did, did someone just say class seven? Yes. Oh my god, who are these people? Wow, it really is them. Get inside! The bombs are on their way. If it ain't Toa too. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad to see you. Thank you, faceless NPCs. Feelings mutual. JK, that's it Fred. Really is. He's the main character of this game. Because he's ginger. When the battle began, we all started taking shelter where we could. Right. But when we saw the Alliance guys running off with their tails between their legs, we came out here hoping for some good news. I can't believe you guys actually made it back here. <laughs> Looks like Mick was right after all. Right? Shadows. Right about what? Shadows on Reen's ass here doing the fucking can can, dude. I heard from Toby, uh, uh, Toval, that you guys would be here to liberate Trista soon. He, uh, told me that we should be here to give you guys a warm welcome. We know a Toby. Really? I guess he must have heard that from Captain Young Claire Tobes. or something. Still, since you're here, I take it you're planning on taking back the Academy? Good on ya. Show us all some real Thor spirit. You know we will. My drill pierces the heavens. Thank you all so much. Stop this it. Really means a lot to all Stop of talking us. about drills that pierce all the right, heavens, everyone. chat. Get ready. We're going in. We're going in. All right. right. Hi. That was quite a quick monologue. I didn't mind that. Not bad. All right. Do I have access to any of these places? Looks like I can go and buy a bunch of shit. Do I want to? I think we just go straight in, guys. There's maybe some like secret quest or some shit here, but honestly, let's just fucking go. You go buy some flowers if we want to do. You wouldn't expect the the school to be under like enemy co like control with all these people just standing about. It's nice though. I can see what they're going for. You know, they're going for the whole moral support the good guys angle, which is cool. I can't believe they're all here to see us. Party time! Hello. Lucky to have everyone's support. Woo! Love is more like it. Love's like a box of chocolates. <gasps> <laughs> We've got you and Toa to thank for that, Reen. Oh, Marcus. You're both always helping everybody out around here. Oh, Elliot. <laughs> Take a moment to be proud of yourselves for once. Right. Let me at him. Let me at him. Oh my god, my favorite character. If it isn't Chantel. My name's Lot. Lottery. Because I give out massive amounts. Of... 
of money. Right, in we go. Angie and the others must be the back gate by now. Are we ready to go in? Yeah, fuck it. I mean, I think so. God, I hope so. Well, here we are. Back where it all started. Thor's Military Academy. The place where we went from strangers to classmates to friends. I've got so many memories, I wouldn't know where to start. Come on then, Reen. Oh, back when they all had the old haircuts. Oh, of course, the swimming episode. Gotta get that in. Do I get the I swimsuit photograph in there? Occupied. Ring you kinky fuck. Hey Wolfie and howdy chat, party time, what's up? It's weird thinking that it's only been two months since we were last here. This is it. The, the moment, moment of truth. truth. The place where our class first began, where we first met, is right in front of us. Back to the place where we first met. And we're going to take it back. Woo! Let's go, everyone! This isn't even oh, my no, real no. party. I'm running in with Machias and Elliot, who I've used once. Hmm. I hope I don't get punished for splitting up my good characters. We've been waiting for you, Class Seven. I'm gonna get punished, Amina. <gasps> <gasps> oh my God! If it isn't Garden Girl and Ginger Man, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Bateman. Oh yeah, Patrick T. High arms, high high arms. Aye, it's sir. Been some time, Settle down there, pal. I haven't the faintest doubt. That you and your classmates would eventually make it here. Make these nuts, Patrick. Who's that guy? Who are you? Nevertheless, you have our congratulations for doing so. Butler Celestine, shut the fuck up. Oh, hello, Celestine. Oh, Celestine, sorry, my bad. I see quite a few familiar faces here. I don't recognize this character. I would recognize a rack that big anywhere. And I think she's filler. <laughs> what a joy it is Maybe to like see her boobs. you again, Yusuf. Adel. Adel? Edlin Colin. You look well, Fee. <laughs> I'm sure the flowers will be so happy to see you back home. Well, you certainly look ready for us. Although, judging by what you said earlier, you must have predicted we were coming, probably before the battle on the East Highway even began, too. Who do you take us for? Scumbags. Filler. Don't even know who you are. We know your class better than anyone. There was absolutely zero chance of you passing up a move to take back the Academy once the Alliance left it in our care. Naturally, we took precautions on the other side of the Academy as well. Uh, uh, Toa! Oh no, who are these guys fighting? Right, we're in. Where the hell is Seda? <laughs> Looks like we were right about the back entrance being totally clear. Everything's going as planned so far. Until... But keep in mind, there's no guarantee that will always be the case. <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting to simply waltz in here without even the slightest A resistance. pretentious voice, who could it be? It's not Blue Blank, is it? Oh no, never mind. It's not not anyone that important. If it isn't my most exquisite Oh my god, it's a Vincent, Angelica. of course. Our reunion could never be more perfect. Angelica's his rival because they both have purple hair, obviously. And I see you burst into the scene, flourishing only the finest in company. Welcome, Class Seven, to the forbidden paradise of the noble Vincent Florald. Okay, why do you always have to take it too far? Uh <laughs> Well, you're one of the last people I expected to bump into here. Guess our attempt to sneak in was a total bust. Okay, speaking of busts. So it appears. <laughs> you are beautiful, yes. But you could never hope to surpass my great intellect. Go on, don't be shy. Shower me with praise. Oh, mate, you need a shower. You say that as if the credit isn't meow. due entirely to Celestine. Don't we, uh, don't, don't we recruit Ferris? Ferris? You're here! Ferris wheel? It's a shame Loggins and Alan aren't with you. Still, looks like the present company should pose enough of a challenge to keep me interested. Okay. I'm honored the strongest swordsman among the second years would say so. Man, this isn't going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be. Master Patrick, the battle the should ghetto be squad full plus on the other side by now. <laughs> then shall we begin as well? Alright. Oh, where did that come from? Wait, the butler's gonna punch with his hands. Why do the butlers always have punchy people hands? Oh no! Oh, come on, Toa. What do you expect was gonna happen here? Set on fighting us? <laughs> we are the ones entrusted with looking after this academy. After Patrick, you're getting hardcore expelled. It wouldn't be much of an order if JK, you're probably a playable character in Trails Four. In unopposed. Maybe, but the Alliance forces who gave you that task are long gone. We're all students here. 
Why do we need to keep... We aren't doing this because we were ordered to, Schwarzer. We're doing this because we are upper-class students. Call us obstinate. Call us fools. Call us whatever you will. Nazis. Neither the will of the Alliance nor my father's desires are of concern to me. We are nobles, and we feel both pride and honor in our social standing. Australians. We wish to know what cause we must take up arms for by virtue of that pride and honor, and we intend to find it by facing you. You've thought long and hard about this, haven't you? So that's why. As I am now, I can understand how you must feel, Patrick, Luckily, Ma but... Machias has brought a shotgun, and I don't think a saber beats a shotgun at close range. Just a whim, on a on a whim. Sorry, but we intend to fight just as obstinately for our cause. Obstinately. We're going to take back the academy. This is our home. Oh. And if fighting you is all it takes to get what we want, then that's exactly what we'll do. We believe in our reasons just as strongly as you believe in yours. That's why we came all the way here. It's a lot worse to say we've sided with the enemy. They gotta have their. Oh my god! I nearly cut to in half. But she's got a fucking alien blaster. I would expect no less from our student council president, or from class seven, our worthy rival. Me, I don't even know who you are. Celestine, get ready. As you wish, Master Patrick. All right, come on then. These douchebags. What have they just buffed themselves that, with? That's a combat wing. When did you start using that? I didn't know you could use an orbital staff, Adel. I'm not as devoted to improving my skill with it as I am to caring for the flowers, though. <laughs> the fucking florist is gonna take me on with a fucking magic staff, bro. Go easy on me, won't you? Oh, I make no promises. I won't hold back, Lambert. Lambert, yeah, Lambert and Butler. I would never ask you. Lambert, shut if up. If you believe you can shatter. Lambert, shut the fuck up, mate. I've never even heard you speak before. We have our pride, our honor, and our strength. Let's see who comes out on top, Rain Schwarzer. Bring it on, Did Patrick. I mention I've got a giant Gundam mech behind me with a fucking sword twice the length of your fucking your body, mate? What the fuck? Then let the ball commence. Follow my lead, Sir Ripper. Ferris, on the name of House Floral. <laughs> Look at the fucking men with the twin fucking the John Wick handguns, bro. <laughs> This is why I love these games, because they're so silly. Look at the maid with a fucking Dante stance. <laughs> of course, Master Vincent. S Serafa, you want to come on our team? Uh, I don't need you to leave. I feel like you could come uh, hang with us. I, I need a sure dual pistol wielder user. I don't have that in my Pokedex yet. Ha. You're going to need to fight your best. Let's go, guys. These we're guys are fighting here. too. Are we, we going to have to do... Never back down. Do we have to do back-to-back -back fights? Oh, yeah, we have to... All right, we're, we're starting Just off with these guys. Watch. I have missed Angelica. I'm not really sure about my actual squad here because, I mean, I guess it might work out. Right, um, in for a penny, in for a pound, guys. Dragon boost. It's been a while since I used Angelica. Attack one, faint ninety percent. Line impede delay. Let's see what these guys are weak to. Probably nothing, right? They're all the same. Oh, she's actually oh different numbers. She's extremely weak to poison, for example. Whereas she's weak to nothing. He's weak to poison. Poison. So they're all kind of weak to poison. I think what we want to do off the bat is just laser bullet. Just get value on this and delay them. Alright, not bad. She looks like the healer. She's already turned to do some stuff. That's a lot of damage. Okay, uh, honestly, I haven't used these characters in so long. Astral Flare, Confuse and Burn. What else have we got here? With We've got Magic Reflects. Heal Serene Blessing, Detector B, Analysis Balance Down. Uh, I mean, honestly, Astral Flare seems pretty good here, and it's instantaneous. The 30% chance to confuse. We could be in trouble, honestly. Dance, I gotta use some abilities here, we could be in trouble. I'm worried. Did I use an S break here? Okay, so they actually use combat links on me. Crescent Mirror, oh fuck me. That's gonna be a nightmare. So that that's gonna protect them all from magic attacks, including my limit breaks. Rock and ice. Is that gonna kill? Okay. We're alive at least. Right. right, we got a free art off the bat. We got, it's just a shame that they actually got the crescent mirror off. Um, defense, revive, heal, medium, fortuna. I can do an instant cast here. Unfortunately, I don't have like any healing AOE stuff. 
See, here's perfect for a cross crusade right on top of them, but they have the magic reflect, which will one shot Alicia. So now I don't know how to get rid of this without killing her. I didn't think they were going to use that. That's kind of BM. I guess we could do. It just sucks, honestly. Heavenly Gift, maybe? Gives us Insight and CP, Molten Rain, Blessed Arrows, heal 40%. It's just so sad that I cannot use this zero cost art for free. Like, I can't. I can instantly cast it and do it. I could have massacred these guys with Cross Crusade, but it'll just get reflected. But I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know how to get rid of the Crescent Mirror without killing myself. Like, I can Judgment Bolt, but it's just gonna annihilate me. I wonder if I just do it anyway, just to get rid of it. I think I have to... I really want to get rid of all of their protections, but I also need to heal. I guess it's a blessed arrow. I feel so bad. Hang in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You Alicia one. also doesn't get healed here, which is really sad. Just watch. Uh, I've just realized Laura is actually frozen. The fuck? Um, maybe we could get a blind off? Angelica doesn't have a lot of, like, magic. Hmm. What have we got? Chrono Burst. Attack twice in succession. Support. So we get two turns. For 400 EP. That's kind of cool. I didn't know she could do that. Uh, we are in a lot of trouble here. Alicia needs healed immediately. A Chrono Burst, I can do some stuff. Uh, I need to get Laura unfrozen, but then that means going on the on the defensive, which I really hate. I think I have to do this. Also, it says attack two turns in succession, which means I might not even get to do what Just I need to do. Watch. There's no... I have no overdrive as well in this fight. It's just really quite scary. Maybe I could faint someday? It feels so bad to use so many of my turns just purely to do uh, backwards moves here. It really does feel sad. Terror bam all, heal all. Uh, I think we have to give 6,000. Is that the best I can do? Got this, I don't want to waste that. I think 6,000 is the best I have. Not EP. I actually don't know how we can get past this fight, honestly, because our team are just so shit compared to the enemy. I might actually just limit break four times back to back just to kill somebody. I might just do that, honestly. Alicia's gonna come back once. I need to cleanse Laura. But if I go defensive and these guys get four turns, they're gonna shit on me. Who's the weakest? So she's got 54, 56, 52. She's the one that's doing the, the Crescent Mirror shit. I need to try and blind these guys with like debuff shit, but I actually think we're just fucked. And Chrono Burst again. Oh, because it's a zero cost. Oh, that's kind of busted actually. Right, okay. This is good. This is good. I can cut. I can cast this for zero. Look, that is so insane. Time to shine. And she gets an EP heal as well. Right, let's go ahead and cure the frost onto douchebag. So I've got a cure freeze, which is nice. I think I can try and get a heal off at the same time though. Uh, burn, poison, blind, seal, mute, stat down. 3000 and cures all ailments is pretty good. I'd like to not waste that though. Nightmare, mute, blind. I guess I don't have a cure freeze that like gives me a buff. Burn, heal. Cures, burns, and heals 50%. Fucking hell. I guess I just don't have it. Mm. Right, honestly, it's fine. I'm gonna use this on Laura. Try this. 
You have my thanks. Here now the how the fuck do we get through this? I do I have to just uh Will this get rid of their magic thing? I don't know what'll happen here. <laughs> We're gonna have to survive some of these. Spark out him, please don't kill me. <gasps> We're fine. Alright. My turn. Laura does have an overdrive. She doesn't need to use it yet though. I think we... Who is she connected to? Emma, who's coming up next, of course. That is so chronic. Um, I need to go aggressive here. I think what I'm going to do is use... Heat wave. I need to proc these shitty shields. As fast as possible. And I think Laura gets a free insta turn cast with the weakest magic. It's going to re reflect that, but I think it's still fine. We have to get rid of these. I'm sorry that I don't have a better AoE spell here. I don't know how to get rid of these um, shields without doing that. I also think I have to overdrive here. Just to heal people. I could potentially get rid of the other... Yeah, so we do get a bit of healing here as well, which is fine. Right, um, Serene Blessing heals 8%, 50 and cures ailments. I mean, it's only on one person. Crescent Shell is only on one per- oh no, it's on everyone, right? So I could do that. Astral Flare is a AoE burn on the back line to get rid of Oh man, there's so many things I need to do. There's so many things. I think we'll be okay. I'm starting to believe a little bit more now. Crescent Mirror. So I could do this and protect everyone from magic, but I don't know if that's a wasted turn. I've not seen any magic attacks yet. I think I kind of want to just go all in. It's really psycho that I don't have any... ...heals here. We just do this. Is it going to kill her if it gets reflected back? Realistically, I want to use a weak move. Class B plus Luminous Ray. I think I have to do this, guys. And it sucks a lot, but I think I have to do it. This is a weak spell. Get rid of the two shields. I fucking hope. Yeah, no, we're fine. So I've got four turns to heal my team. Um, but I've also got a bunch of limit breaks and shit as well. Magic attack. See, this is mute 90%. That's pretty good. Um, armor break, seal 60%. Are these guys weak to seal? 50%. Seal 20%. Uh, seal 10%. It looks like the maid is actually low-key the, the hard one to defeat. We're looking to get blinds and sleeps and stuff like that off. There's good value there. What does that come with? Speed down. True armor break a single target. Radiant blade. Mutant 90%. I mean, it's not bad. If it does a lot of damage, it'd be alright. I think this is my best play here. Blade of light. I'm just going to try and do as much damage as I can. We're going to burst these guys for sure. 50% defense as well. I think I can just finish these guys off, hopefully. Of course. We're gonna go bananas balls to the wall here. Let's use Phantom Phobia. Extra large SS plus. Or Shadow Blade. Yeah, dude, honestly, if ever I if ever I needed this. This hits everybody. But this is like maximum value. And it gives a HP. Dude, I'm just gonna use this. Fuck it. Emma, I need you to carry me here. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna finish these guys off with limit breaks. I think we can kill them here. Not bad. Not as big as I'd hoped though. He's got a heal coming up as well. Molten Rain? I think I just go for the kill, honestly. And we just go max damage. I'm just gonna go for it, guys. This is greedy, but fuck it. We're gonna have more than enough. As long as there's not a fight after this, we'll be fine. I think we just go all in. 
you're not getting away. Fuck you. Molten laser! Big. Now's our chance! And do too Try much this. damage. As long as we kill some of them, that would be pretty nice. Uh Right, well I'm all in man. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, guys, we're dead. I apologize in advance if this goes poorly, but Angelica's missing our perfect attack though, but I think I need to do I think I need to do this. And then limit break. We're just going all in. Witness the fruits of my training! Let's see if I'll have to use all my limit breaks here. If this is my B team, I don't mind playing a bit more cheese if it means we get through these kind of fights. But I am nervous. Okay, nice. There's no way this doesn't kill her. She's also muted. If she reses someone, I'll feel really bad. Maybe it was a bad idea not going for the healer. I'm just gonna assume this will kill. Uh, Laura's sword attack, but her ma her ultimate did way more damage than I thought it was gonna. I think this is her better special attack. I don't know. There's two I think available. I don't know which one I've got selected. I think it default selects the best one. This has got a huge animation, so I'm assuming this is no! the best. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right. Well, that was uh. Dangerous. Taking so much damage from these enemies. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, radiant spin can now be used. Good. No complaints here. <laughs> Look at me go! Okay, cool. Yeah, it was registered, doesn't it? Watch out. This is a tough one. Oh, this is back to the other team. My turn. Right, so this is my main squad. Uh Usus is not connected to Reen, but that's okay. I think we let's have a quick peek at who we're fighting against here. Same kind of idea, right? He can be frozen 50%, 20%, 50%, and 50%. Yusus is going to be king here. He is going to be king. Let's go ahead and do treasure sword on everyone. Even if I get one proc here, it's good. Know your place. I think this is better than noble command because they're so vulnerable. <laughs> we get one proc. This is it. That's good. Here I come. Right, fees up I'll next. Uh, I don't have an overdrive because apparently I shared it with the other party in the other fight, which I didn't know was going to happen. You kind of hate to see it. Could try and impede the whole lot of them, and that would let Reen go. Uh, I've got blind 30%, seal delay 30%, bullet cyclone. I like the idea of doing that, honestly. One, two. Alright, fuck it. Huh? I am <laughs> covering up a health bar here, so I apologise. Let's move. Okay, we did delay them, that's huge. I think Galex here is pretty good, honestly. Seal 60% chance. I don't think these guys are actually vulnerable to... Technically, but it's a very low amount. The guy in the end got sealed, which is cool. Uh, Frost Edge freeze 20%. I think Reen just wants to... Impede and delay. So it's actually this guy on the right who's up next, and he's missing his turn, which is huge. So I think I can get away with some cheese here. I think we just go for this. Alternatively, I could just go for a big move. Volcanic rain, flare bomb. He's gonna get this off. I think I want to be freezing these guys though. It's like so valuable. Seal 50% is not good enough. Honestly, does Reen just go in? I kind of like the idea of him delaying, though. Fuck it. Let's just do this. He misses his turn. My turn. And now it's Fee. Fee can actually start to mess with these guys. I'm going to just keep going for delays, I think. If I can get it. I'll also go for a blind seal and try and try for everyone. I think this is good value. Here. There we go. We got one. And it's on fencing, bro. There we go. We got a burn proc as well. That only hits three people, unfortunately. The man with the sword is blinded. That's pretty big. Toa, you've got weakener, right? Which I can only use on one person. Energy rain heals and restores. That's kind of nice. Shooting stars. 
I think we go weaken her and we just go for a target here, right? Probably her. Probably her, honestly. This guy's... He's gonna miss. He's also burned, so he's gonna miss a turn. What, what magic does she have? SS. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't hate that. Hydro Cannon, Freeze, Frost Edge. Annihilates all with a beam of concentrate. Dude, honestly, why the fuck not? Let's let Toa shine here. This is her full turn. I'm gonna go for it, man. I'll handle this. Because Usus is so good here. So, Treasure Swords? Probably the same kind of idea. 50%. 50%. 20%. I'm sad that I'm missing this guy, but you can't have everything in life. I think this is good value. Know your place. Come on, Usus, carry me. One freeze, just one. Okay. Now. Don't think we got it. Here I go. My turn. Uh, I'm pushing these guys slowly more and more apart, which is, I think, the part of the problem here. Um. Heed. See, like these guys are grouped. <laughs> I really. Um, I really want to kill her, because I think she's going to do some heal bullshit, but these guys I get value on, so I think this is just fine. One, two, I think Toa's going to do a lot of damage here anyway. Huh? I've missed and out on my <laughs> limit breaks, so that's the only thing. Got it. Okay, let's rush. Okay, Reen. Reen. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for like a poison proc or something here. Yeah. This is huge. This is all, half of Toa's ma magic bar. Let's see what this looks like, because I, I have this ability to make this, but I don't have it equipped and I haven't made it. Let's see how much damage it does. <coughs> Not bad, honestly. Let's move. Pretty good, guys. All right, the good news is these guys are kind of doomed. Um, Gale, second form. Could just go for these two and finish them off. But I get such good value on this. Alright, YOLO. Nice. Now. The butler's going You're first. Done. So we kind of have to be careful of that. So that's him down. Okay. So the butler's up next, and for some reason... Oh yeah, they've all been debuffed. Uh, do we have to take this super seriously? Will I regret it if I if I go for an impede? Could go for a delay. Very. It can be delayed, right? Delay 20%. It's actually... Speed down 100%. Oh, actually, so if I go for this, it's guaranteed. So we just do this, targets. right? And he, he's guaranteed to go next, I think. My turn. Yes, good. Alright, I'm worried about this fucking douchebag girl on this side, but these guys are so low. Um, no way, we can get away with doing that in time. Is it just a case of doing treasure swords? And then limit breaking probably with Reen? Yeah, fuck no it. We don't get all of his CP back anyway, so... Oh, I could have used Toa's limit break, actually. Now. Here I come. Who does Reen hit? Does he hit everyone? Honestly, I think I'm just gonna go for her. It seems so weird. But in, unless she's got some sort of, like, weird full HP res, I think I just end her. There's no way this doesn't kill her, right? Do we just slot Toa's limit break in here as well? Dude, I'm gonna do it anyway. I want to see what Toa can do. It's a good opportunity to mess around. She survives on one. I actually don't know what Toa's Limit Break does. It's targeting the enemies, so I'm hoping that... Rainbow Shot. This is cool. Have they even had a move yet? No, they haven't. I don't think so. Pew pew pew! This hits everyone, which is nice. Wider spread than Rain, probably a lot less damage though. That guy is available to attack, but he has got a blind on him. <gasps> but he's fucking doomed. Okay. Now we can cheese, guys. 
Now we can farm XP. We're gonna battle scope this idiot. Did I use any heals in this one? I don't know. There's one item. That's Scouter. Uh, am I gonna greet? I think I'm gonna greet. Is it even greeting if I just be careful here? If I give this to R. That's two items used. For the bag of tricks proc. What's the chances that Sword Guy... What's the chances that Sword Guy attacks and misses me? Quite high. Right? This is kind of... Kind of troll. What have I got that restores CP for Reen? Should I cure the blindness on the on the enemy? <laughs> I took this fight so seriously. I've got Kaiser Burger. I'll give that to Reen. Maybe I'm out of range of that guy. There's no way he reses. That's pretty good. That's bag of tricks. Okay, very cool. My turn. Very cool, my guy. Alright, uh, honestly, I think we just fucking finish his ass off. I'll handle it. Don't miss. My turn. Can he reach? <laughs> okay. Pew pew! Yeah. Lol. I'll handle it. And now for the overkill. I probably could go for the overkill here if I just use my limit break, but uh, let's just attack him. Fuck it. <laughs> we got our overdrive point back as well, so if there is a follow-up fight. Okay, 2.2 XP we get, guys, for our troubles there. We get bag of tricks, we get overkill, we get scouter. We did, yeah. Unscathed gives us a lot of points as well, which is nice. That first fight was looking to be a little bit more problematic than... Uh, than the first phase, like the sorry, than the second phase. Excuse me. I've noticed it, it looks like Usus and Reen are very close to leveling up their quartz, but I don't actually know if they got it or not here. Yeah, force reach level five, six. So transcendent jewel for Reen. Let's see what force gets here. A bunch of stats, which is nice. Uh, we get extra CP per killed enemy and per turn. Restore CP when HP is low, plus two hundred CP once per fight. I mean that's insane. That means I can limit break, and when Reen gets low, I can limit break again as long as he survives. It's kind of OP. Uh, it looks like Usus doesn't get his quartz leveled up, but I think he's I got it. very close. Exactly how it should be. Crafts, Trinity Cannon. Okay, not bad. All right, I took that kind of seriously because I was terrified we were going to lose the first leg, but second leg, obviously, I've got my full squad of great fighters, so they're much quicker. My second squad is much quicker. The A team, if you like. We did it. We did it. Even though Sarah's not here. We sure did. Looks like we're the victors this time. Sarah would have been sick in this fight, but Usus is very good against these enemies. Anybody who has fifty percent chance to be frozen, Usus is king. It's like he's so good. I fought with all the heart and soul of an equestrian, but it wasn't enough. My my, you've grown so very strong, haven't you? This can't be happening. Unlucky. First I lost during that practical exam. <laughs> and now I've lost again? That's in Trails 1. Unlucky Patrick. Master Patrick, please raise your head. You may have been bested, but you've no reason at all to feel ashamed. Of course he does. We're going to humiliate him on socials for the, le for the next two years. Defeat shouldn't always be equated with embarrassment. You gave this fight your all. <laughs> That's and for that, you should be proud. Celest Celestine here, or Celestine, is trying his best to to gas him up, but like the fact that he gave it gave it his all and still got absolutely destroyed is kind of alarming. Damn it! I'm astounded by your overpowering strength and will, Usus. Jesus! I always knew you had a Shut bright up, you. you fought well yourself. We don't it care about like Lambert. Well, we're done here. Would you like to go and see the flowers be? Some things never change. How are these guys acting like they're our best friends after just trying to kill us? Like what? Why are we letting this slide? These people should be arrested for fucking war crimes, man. Oh no, they're real meat and potatoes. Principal Vandic? Who the fuck? Instructor Makarov? Who's that guy? I thought you were all locked up. Instructor Makarov. How could you? You let these people try and kill us? You apes? Oh, pe oh yeah, of course. Principal Van Dyke. How could I forget? Hey. Good to see you kids again. 
He does, did as we were asked and went... Oh, he doesn't have a voice line. <laughs> Wait. Makarov gets a voice line, but Principal Van Dyke, they were like, nah, dude, fuck that guy. What a fine battle it was. Suck my dick. I'm not playing a game of football for your fucking spectacle, Mr. Principal. Both sides fought with all their might. No, I didn't. I've still got lots of gas in the tank. I had at least two limit breaks left. At least. Take it from me, Patrick. You should all the spirits of True Noble. <sighs> what presumptuous, elitist, borderline racist. Patrick, did you? Patrick's an asshole. Get him out. Correct. As soon as the alliance withdrew, Master Patrick and the other upper class students released the instructors at once. They were merely asked to remain inside until this battle met its end. Wow. Hmm. We played our part by watching the other battle taking place too. Oh no. Here comes the rest of them. Angie! Beatrix. And Vice Principal Heinrich too. <laughs> Why no are they? I don't, bones, I don't get I this. Like, I know they're just trying to give you, it's from a, a video game development standpoint, they're just trying to give you a fight against some of your rivals from the first game, right? And also, slotting a fight here against another enemy. But, like, the fact that we've just, like, they, they acted so cold towards us and then fought us, tried to stop us from entering, and now they're all acting like we're all best friends and it was a good laugh is so weird. <laughs> we just wrapped things up on our end not too long ago. Like, they, they, they make it out like they've just went shopping together. Only to find out that these two had been keeping an eye on us this whole time. My blade was utterly useless against her overwhelming splendor. Master Vincent, I'm afraid that comes to the surprise of no one here. One would be a fool to say otherwise after comparing your abilities. Oh, woe is me! There's no need to be so blunt, Sarifa. Why in Adios's name do I have to watch this tomfoolery? <laughs> Good on you for agreeing to, though. Oh my god, thank god Sarah came back. Where the fuck were you? Oh, you're all here. <laughs> you all came for a look? <laughs> nice work, guys. It seemed like you were done over here, so we came to take a peek. Our champions have been decided! Indeed. Oh, here comes fucking Hihachi. Patrick, as well as those who fought valiantly by his side, the Battle of Wills has been fought and the victory is clear. What will you do? <sighs> Master Patrick. He's gonna go plus ultra and summon a Gundam. Oh, here we go, the extended paw. Oh, and there it is. What is the meaning of this, Schwarzer? Oh, God, dude. Please swat it away. I want Patrick to swat away the hand and then I want Reen to decapitate him. Did you not learn your lesson from the last time you tried to hold your hand out to me after battle? Oh, come on, Patrick. This is the part where we preach that there's redemption in everybody. I don't think you can compare this to the battle back then. Haven't you seen an anime before, Patrick? Sure, we fought before. But this is the first time we did so without holding ourselves back. That's a lie. And it's the first time we did so while regarding one another as true equals. That's also a lie. Maybe you couldn't take my hand after that fight. But I think you can now. Take my hand tonight. One last time. <laughs> Patrick, put it in perspective like this. We fought against you with Toa and won. Unlucky! You will never cease to be an irritant. Or more to the point. Embarrassing! Oh, it was actually badass though. Do I had some decent magic on her? Some SSSS plus magic. In fact, I think that spell that we use with Toa is actually um 4S. Fucking wild. Alright, everybody is acknowledged. It's time to go in and have tomato soup together. I hereby proclaim the Order of the Lion disbanded. All upper-class students will assemble under the leadership of Student Council President Herschel. Now, all students, regardless of class, shall righteously fight under one banner as bearers of the Horned Lion Crest. Yes! Thank you, Patrick. Was this classmates from inside the school cheating, is it? Oh, yeah, okay. Wonderful. I don't know why Patrick's still got a political leg to stand on at this point. He should be in the gutter where he belongs. Scumbag. Please. I'll have none of that from you. Patrick's uh, loving it. We really have. We're here. It feels so good to know that Thors can finally be together as one again. That's right. But this isn't over yet. 
Ooh. Our lives in Trista were simple, but full of happiness. We've taken back our home. And now? Now, it's time we take back our happiness. <laughs> right. right! Right! Time to take back our happiness, chat. God. It was a long and difficult journey, but we were finally able to take back the academy we had longed to return to. And our happiness. The cheers and tears of joy continued well into the night. Mm. With every single one of us, commoner and noble, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride to be a student of Thor's military academy. What's more, our victory renewed our hope for the future. So long as we were united, we had the will to work towards putting things right at last. Damn, Daniel. Okay, lads. Act 2, finito. The Awakening Lion's End. End of chapter 2. Dude, this screen makes me a bit nervous. Everybody's bond strengthened. Level up with to or with Fee. Reen Fien, uh, <laughs> Reen and Fee. <laughs> Fiend. As I like to call them. Fiend. I reach level 6, which means they now have Almighty Blow and Lethal Assist. I guess that's cool. Oh god. Reen and Million leveled up. Reen and Seda leveled up. Which means they have bonuses. Toa? Is Toa actually coming in for the final fight? <gasps> Is Angelica coming in for the final fight? No, Princess Althan, not you. Cheer. That says it all. Alright. We're up to rank A1. We get Rebellion. That looks like a actual quartz, is it? Rebellion? Is that a full-on Master Quartz? Okay, uh, in order to get to rank A0, which is the top rank available in the game, we need 315 AP, which I don't think we're even close to. We only just, just barely snuck in to rank A1. Cleared the Spirit Shrines, took back the Academy, recruited upper class students plus six, and recruited all the students plus ten. Wow, that must have been tough. All right, and we're getting a grade. You guys are really on the ball. Not bad. Canyon and Cantian, Arts and Harmony three plus one, missed opportunity, and then recruitment of all the kids. Fine, we'll take it. All right, the Awakening Lions. We're gonna save. Uh, Savey savey. Dude, I thought we were actually heading in towards the final kind of chapters, but it was just the end of Act 2. What in the fuck? Uh, continue. Let's see what happens next. We'll not end it there. We gotta make out with someone. Hmm. Yeah, this much AP is pretty nutty at some point. I just wanted to finish. Yeah, I know. I think we're kind of getting to that stage as well. Here's a nice pleasant moment together, though. Patrick's a homie. Don't you defend Patrick, Ryan. Hmm. I would find it hilarious if the principal just expelled Tri Patrick, yeah. Or just killed him. Shot him through the head. Alright, cool. Honestly, I had to heavily, heavily rely on limit breaks there, guys. Our healing in this game, with our party comps that we're building together, are just not significant. But maybe that'll change when we put Sarah and Yusus together. We might actually have some legitimate heals. By not using Emma, we miss out on magic protection and regen, and by not using Elliot, we miss out on heals and con constant regen. But we've got a very aggressive team, which is different, a lot different to how we played the first game. I feel like Trails 1 when we played, our team was very balanced. This game, we're playing hyper-aggressive. Um, and it's a case of, when we go in for the jugular, if we can kill them, great. If not, we just lose. So, uh, yeah. We've not got the most aggressive team. I think we could definitely substitute, like, like Laura would probably be in there. Fee, Laura, and Reen, and then one other person. Who does, like, fast damage. It was cool with Angelica that she could, uh, cast the... the art to make herself go twice, and then I got a free cast with her again to instantly use it and then go again with two turns. That actually saved us from losing in the first fight. The fact that the healer casted Crescent Mirror, which is the reflective magic defense shield, is like really suddenly terrifying for my squad to deal with, my, my B team, because I've got Emma in that party and also Alicia was in that party. So suddenly those two characters were like almost nullified slightly. I'm so happy to finally be back. 
And looking around, I'm not alone in that sentiment either. It doesn't help that, like, my backup team had, like, random quartz assigned to them, as well as, like, shit armor, so... Maybe it won't last. I really hope. Everyone's determined to enjoy it to the fullest while they can. I have a strong suspicion the game is going to make me split into two again later, but I fucking hope not. We'll just wait and see. I don't After even all, want to know, honestly. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Laura's S craft are said. <laughs> Seraphic ring on anyone makes them a healer, yeah. I knew things True. would instantly go back to normal, but I didn't expect all that to be thrown on us. All right, Reen's having his little uh, anime moment under the stars. Five hours earlier. Oh, here we go. At sunset. Oh, we haven't for dinner tonight, guys. I'm really hungry. Really hungry. The fact that you can have Fee, Laura, and Emma in a team and they make them more broken than Reen is pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, that's always the... Uh, not always, I, I guess. Reen's like your staple... You want us to help liberate the capital? But there's always a, there is always that one character or two characters per RPG that you can like just make absolutely broken. So like Final Fantasy VII, Tifa is like the obvious one, right? Where she can get her uh, combo with the cursed string, and then you keep her in the negative, like you keep her in the death zone, and just make her go absolutely bananas. Um, there's a bunch of other RPGs. I'm pretty sure in Final Fantasy X, can't you do something wild with uh? Was it Kamani or something? I, I don't fucking know. Lots of different games have that opportunity. Oh, it's Riku with the bombs and like crafting. And Can't Riku craft like some insane, kind of. insane fucking like invention stuff and just blow people up? If we don't seize the moment before the year is up, there's every chance the war will drag on even longer as a result. Fighting is still yeah, as yeah, Western Arabonia. exactly, dumpster, yeah. But if the Nortia and Kreutzen provincial armies keep their word Wait. not to interfere, they may be able to turn the world. I'm sorry, I've called Kreutzen. The, the Kreutzen provincial, I've been calling it Kreutzen this whole fucking game. I apologize. Hmm. Hmm. That does sound like the best chance we'll ever get. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. We have no intention of taking an active role in the war. Too late. We simply wish to fulfill our duties as military academy students. That sounds perfectly fine to me. We aren't asking you to fight on the front lines to retake the city. Rather, we would like you, the students of Thor's military academy, to liberate one very specific location. Yeah? And where might that be? I'll be the one explaining that. Oh. There he is. Y you're here too? You're from the intelligence division. This guy? Remember this very, very vaguely. Oh. Lecter, long time no see. You back from Crossbell? Captain Lecter Arundel. Yep. Old name. The most pressing problem over there is all taken care of now. So I was finally able to access the intelligence division's network again. Wait a second. Most pressing problem? What happened over there? I blew up my penis. Oh, you know that Azure tree is gone. That way causes penis. Yeah, I there was a ton of confusion after its disappearance, but President Kreuss has been arrested, and Christ. things are beginning to calm down. President Kreuss. We had no idea. Holy Kreuss. I remember feeling an incredible amount of mana from that tree. Whatever happened there, it's mm. obvious Ouroboros was You're not on the strength grid. Regardless of how it came to happen, the fact remains. Crossbell Lady is of no danger to us now. She just grabs, grabs Seymour by the it throat and breaks his neck. comes new dangers on the horizon. What do you mean, Dad? Now that Crossbell is no longer a threat, there's every chance the Calvert Republic might make a move, is that correct? The Republic still has its own share of chaos as a result of their economic crisis and terrorism. But now that there's an opening to take Crossbell, we've no doubt they will recover sooner rather than later. And without Gorelia Fortress to serve as an effective deterrent, there's always the possibility they could use Crossbell as a staging area to launch a military incursion into Erebonia. You guys paying attention to this? Jamie says, I am the president. As a result, our primary concern ah, is- Jamie, you're the president of the cheese possible. community. And we could use your assistance in bringing it to an ever swifter conclusion. I understand the situation. In that case, where is this specific location that you'd like us to liberate? Yeah, get to the get cut to the chase here. Where are we going? It better not be another fucking shrine. That would be the Corel Imperial Villa. Ryan says, "He Erebonia, Erebonia." Or oh, Ryan, you're just getting started. If you think one dick joke is enough, wait till you start seeing this whole series. There's cocks everywhere. 
Hey, isn't that the cut the the city that we've just came from recently was called literally called Bada Heart. It's brilliant. That's the Imperial family's villa on the outskirts of the city, right? Are you suggesting that my family is at the villa? We believe your assumption to be correct, Your Highness. I'm surprised the main character isn't just called Cock. The Intelligence Division has established that His Imperial Majesty and the rest of your family have been imprisoned there. Lady Elise Schwarzer and Imperial Governor Regnitz are also with them. Ah, <gasps> uh, looks like Reen's got the bunny ears on, Luke. Laura's standing directly behind him. Now Reen has become the rabbit. Dad's there too? They've been there this whole time. <laughs> Sounds like my type of game. I think you'd like this game, Ryan. It's, quite, it's pretty good. It's close to the capital, but it's surrounded on all sides by cliffs and the like. Pretty pog. Lots of big booby wafers. That makes it the perfect place. Lots of anime cheese. But it can be quite challenging, like I said. We've been taking the last few boss fights today really super serious because we're like one turn away from getting wiped. Legitimately. Exactly. But then we're playing on the hard, so... The only way to access it via land is a special hard that train way. that runs from Heimdall Station, and that is currently heavily secured by the Imperial Guard. However... Were your party to use the courageous to fly there, you should be able to get inside. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Music sounds very familiar. Answer. You'll often find that like random YouTubers will use the soundtrack from these games on their YouTube videos because none of it is copyright and there's so much of it. And it also often fits any occasion. I don't know how many times I've been watching uh, like a commentary video and they literally just play the Persona 5 track through the back of it. It's insane. Like actually insane. Yeah, I'm in. If you say they're there, Lecter, then they're there. It's not much different from liberating Ruwer or the Twin Dragon's Bridge. This is like the main theme of the series, Cat. Related to us. So you might have heard it before. Jamie is the bard. So the stuff they're talking about is the Ark and the Crossbell games. That's cool, Dumpster. Is that where Lecter's Indeed. from? While the Imperial family is naturally of great importance, rescuing a member of the board of directors fits our motives to a T. And we've always seen it as our duty to help those related to the Academy. Guess that settles that. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, aren't we being humble? <laughs> this is what friends do. To think these kids would turn out to be so dependable. You're telling me. <laughs> your Highness, may we have your. Guys, does anybody to want board? to bring me some hot dogs? Did you see the Squadron Forty Two trailer? Yes, no, I saw you linked means. it though, Ryan. I know where to find the link. I haven't watched it. Though. I, Alfin Rice Armor. Humbly request that you carry out this mission Shut it. very well. We, we all know Toa is the real boss. Military Academy, I hereby declare that we shall dedicate our all to the liberation of the Corral Imperial Villa. Yeah, but when's the pizza party? When's the unlimited pizza party with really beer? Strange. For all I know, tomorrow could determine the outcome of this war. And yet I feel completely at peace. Oh, just wait, Reen. Just being back here. Seeing the sky and being surrounded by this cool air makes me feel so happy. Probably some similarities to the East theme songs. Yeah, Why? it's probably the same composer. You're not planning on standing here alone the whole night, oh, are you? Oh, guys, it's the date scene and we picked fucking Alicia. Oh, never mind, it's just the cat, thank God. It's not the oh. date scene. Hey, Celine. It's Celine the cat. Where's Emma? What? Who knows? I'm guessing she's over in the literature club's room. Boarding. One of the second years dragged her off. Something about checking if any of her precious book collection had vanished. <laughs> that would be Dorothy. Oh. I don't know. I could wander around, but my head's kind of full at the moment. It's like it's suddenly registering just how much this academy means to me. I knew I liked it, but... Dude, because this is an anime game, much. Reen stands here under the stars, having conquered the school once again. He's like the most important person in the school. He's got a fucking fantastic career ahead of him. Comes from a family of nobles. The world is all at his fingertips, right? But like, see if this was in Scotland, it'd be pishing rain, and he'd have to go inside because he was getting he was getting cold and sick. Oh, well, whatever you end up doing tonight. God damn it, Reen! Count. We're not jealous of you, and that bait on your arm. With both Vita and Ouroboros involved, you haven't seen the worst this war has to offer. Mm. The hardest part's yet to come. Same makers as East and Tokyo's on a day. You don't want to face your friend in the goofy bandana weighed down by regrets, do you? True enough. Fair enough. Did playing this game, honestly, it just makes me want to sit down and just binge an anime. I don't know why. Literally. 
Oh, hey, are you here because you were? But then every time me? I do that, like you know, when I get free time and I sit down to watch an anime these days, I only watch like one or two episodes and then I stop. You've always been. So and then I take a break for like a month and I never go Even back if to. You do try to hide it by acting grumpy half the she time. Sheet. around being nice to every girl you run into try treating someone special for once oh no this is going to be the date scene surely there's someone who fits that description better than me someone special huh oh no this could be the last night you have to enjoy before everything goes to hell oh and go pay valimar a visit too huh. honestly anyone with half a brain could have figured that out why do i have to be the one to tell you oh no oh I no suppose she's right it seems a shame to waste a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity standing around here alone. Watching the day go by. Besides, it's been a long time since I was last here at the Academy. I've got a lot of catching up to do with the people in Trista. And after Valimar offered to stand guard near the west exit... Can we just sit down and eat some s'mores somewhere? Can't we go roast some s'mores? Honestly looks great, but I gotta hold my breath since it's a CIG game. Is this a game that's not out yet, Ryan? Right, who do I have access to? Fucking Fee- no. Oh, uh... Wait, is Fee literally the only one? Is this because I selected- is that because- hmm... Oh no, wait, Sarah's out here as well. What else have I got? So I'm assuming the yellow markers are the opportunities because I got them to level 6. Is that how that works, chat? I can either romance Fee or I can romance Sarah. Fiddle me broomsticks. Let's go uh, talk to Elliot in the church. See if this uh, if this comes to anything. Hello. I've got no reason to go in here. What the fuck? Is this not the church? Oh no, I don't think it is. The church over here? Ah, oh, let's trust the chapel. Elliot, where are you at, bro? Why are you hiding? Oh, he's playing the violins, dude. Alright, I guess I can only hang out with one of these people. I'm not fucking dating feature. Don't even fucking ask me. I refuse. Affy and in. Oh, this looks fucking sick, though! Yes, can I have some soup? What is that, chicken noodle? Oh, it's a hot drink. What is it, baked beans? It doesn't look like coffee. She's got a lot of cups here. Those are getting cold. Watching the day go by. Water flowing underground. Hi up. Rain out a little stroll to see what everyone's up to. I guess I shouldn't be surprised you're passing the time with your good friend, Mr. Booze. Ho oh, ho, calling her out on being an alky. Harsh but true, Reen. A firm leader, so you are. The plan was to have a little get-together with all the instructors to celebrate finally being back, but the only ones who have shown up so far are these two, and they're fucking shit. Hey! Come and join us, Rain. Nah, it's alright, I wouldn't want to intrude. If I sat down, I'd be all, I'd be all over. I said the instructors would hurry up. What's happening here? You could be a gentleman and score some brownie points with your poor teacher, Rain. How about giving me an excuse to blow this joint? Oh my god, she wants to blow something else. Given the choice, I'd much rather kick back and relax over at the dorm with you. Guys, I'm not hanging out with Fee, don't ask me. This is the only opportunity I have, please forgive me. I'm gonna have to hang out with my big booby drunken alcoholic teacher. Milf. Milf. Okay, I guess I'll head over to the dorm once I've done everything else I was thinking of doing. Maybe I'll do you in the dorm. <clears throat> Hello there. Fred! Oh my god, thanks Fred! Jesus, immediately rewarded. Um, do you- I've already spoke to you. What about you? Are you gonna give me a cup of hot cocoa? No? Let's go to the flower shop, maybe she'll give me something. Let's go talk to the- Jane's gardening. Oh, nothing is relevant to us. Well, I guess Rain doesn't like flowers then. So, how do I- Do I just advance the plot here, guys? How do I... Oh wait, is Seda in the swimming pool? Winnable! 
Oh my god! Seda? Laura? Whatever your name is? No! Is this Leone? That's Monica. Literally called Monica. Shit, I thought Seda was gonna- Laura was- Fuck, there's too many girls. I thought she was gonna be in her swimsuit. Ah, oh, she's practicing in her kendo outfit with her bunny ears on. Hey, Lana. Oh, I'm starting to think Lana might be a bit. I think her and Monica might have a thing. We're gonna be on the sidelines, guys. So, do I just advance the story and then it will ask me to hang out or what? I guess we just save our game just in case and then see. We'll save over this. Hmm. She's gonna blow! Okay, let's go. Oh, we have to talk to... Thingy as well, do we? Valimar. Acknowledged. Hey, Valimar. Hello, Reed. I came to see how you were holding up. We could probably talk to Fee and Prime it so that we can hang out with her too, but I don't really care. It's Star Citizen's separate single-player campaign. It's in... Final polish phase, something that Zero Modern Games seem to get to now, Kappa. Sure was a surprise well, when you we'll offered Well, we'll wait and see, Ryan, we'll wait and see. Serves a lookout. <laughs> no problem. It's gonna vote for Seda. Perhaps you and your friends have influenced me to some degree. Each and every one of you have come a long way to take this place back. I simply wish for you to be able to dedicate this evening to celebrating that achievement. <laughs> Thanks. Was it Digital Descendant that pointed out Valimar's caught guard earlier? You know... Looking back, I didn't quite realize I how big it was. The day would come when I'd be able to have a natural conversation with you like this. You've changed a lot in that regard. You've gone from sounding mechanical to dignified, I suppose. See, you're not such a hard ass anymore, Valimar. I've been working to gradually recover my memories over time, and while still fragmented, I am now able to recollect specific memories from my past. Bug. Really? Does really? that mean you remember some of what happened before you went to sleep in the old schoolhouse? Oh, shit, my OBS just shot the bed there. Sorry, guys. Correct. I went to sleep 250 years, 128 days ago, and my previous awakener was a man known as Drakul's Rysay Arner. Wow. So it really was Drakul's, huh? Drakul's? Uh, Valimar, are we cooler or less cool than Drakul's? Um, please be honest. Fuck, he had a fur coat. We don't, we don't stand a chance. Obviously, I had a hot maid babe, babe I had maiden with him as well. I saw that memory in the last shrine, but I didn't want to assume. I believe you resonated with the memories that reside within the proving grounds. Dragul visited the spirit shrines as you did. In each one, he obtained the same ore with which to forge his weapon, advanced upon the same capital. Jeez, dude. And it was there, with many allies at his side, that he laid the war to rest in one final confrontation. It's kind of eerie how similar our paths are, but it makes me feel a little self-conscious too, in a way. What kind of person was he, anyway? Hmm. He was an open-minded, composed, and driven man. Wow. Full of bravery and daring, and in some ways, an enigma. Yet for those he met, he was ever kind or support. Dude, what badass! Uh, Valimar, would you rate us the same, or...? He had dignity in measure with his stature. And still at times, one could see in his eyes the glimmer of a child's. Okay, Valimar, uh, we can cut the compliments of this, uh, your previous user. What, what about me? <laughs> he was really something, wasn't he? Hearing you talk about him, I don't know if I could be anything like he was. But maybe if I were, I'd be able to do more for everyone. There is little meaning in striving to be something you are not. Og? There is little meaning in striving to be something that you are not. I kind of know what he's going for here, but that also sounds kind of bad. It's like, don't try and do anything <laughs> anything that sounds challenging. Uh, Valimar, I'm not sure. I see what he's going for, though. He's like, don't try and fake it. You know, don't try and be someone else. Just be yourself. I get that. Huh? Since my awakening, I have watched over you. I have seen you grow as a person. Dracul's found success in playing to his strengths. You, though different. Possess strength, no less strength. Og? Just as he attracted his own supporters, so too have you gained those who would choose to stand by your side and no other. Valimar. Take pride in those who become your sword, for not even kings can buy loyalty you earn. You really mean that, Valimar? You really mean that? Uh, thanks, Valimar. But you are still a shitter, Reen Swarzar. You're right. I should focus on improving myself as I am, 
rather than try to become someone I'm not. Seeing as how I'm fighting for my future and to bring home my friend, it wouldn't make sense to be anyone else, really. Are we still trying to bring home Crow? Can we fucking forget about that asshole? I mean, he was cool. And he did have guns. And a bandana. Okay, I understand. Bring him back. Oh, yeah. It sounds like the Tachi will be done by morning. So if you're up for it, I think we should test it out tomorrow. I'll be counting on you, Valimar. I shall do all within my power. Valimar, just so you know, I'm off to pump the teacher. Any last words? Any words of advice? Regent Schwarzer. Alright, how do we advance the plot then? We go to the old schoolhouse, maybe? Why is Emma hanging out at the old schoolhouse? Oh, wait, wait, do I have to go talk to... I want to go into the main building. Uh, and talk to Toa, I guess. Alright. Well, here's the squad. What's up, guys? Oh, you guys are all up here? Hello. Dixie, what's up? Hi, Ring. Welcome. Hey. Nice night, isn't it? A lovely night, Angelica. Almost as lovely as you. Uh, it's a little on the chilly side, but it still feels pretty nice since there's no breeze out. George, you're just drunk. Oh, yeah. You're right. What you guys been up to up here? I don't see is You don't have any activity going on. You're just chatting? You guys just up here chatting? Were you making out? Mm-hmm. Filthy. Yeah, I think we've only got a choice between Fee and Seda. Um. <laughs> We're finally back here. Yeah, got to admit, seeing it again's making me feel all emotional. <laughs> no doubt. Especially since, unlike the rest of us, you guys were last here during the festival. They're really trying to bond with these three, and I don't really know why. I guess they didn't get much screen time in the first game, so they're trying to expand the, the relationships, I guess. But, but probably wild. Lonely with Crow missing. Oh yeah, okay, Crow, of course. The fourth ringleader. Toa, George, Angelica. I'm going to kill Crow. Just kidding. I want to thank you. Huh? God, this is getting tense. What for? You guys have helped us out so much. There's no way we could have gone that far without you. I mean, I guess all three of these guys did kind of take part at one point or another in the combat and stuff, right? I don't know if George fought with if us, but... just his first years, I don't George literally helped build the giant well. sword that we're now using on our robot mech, so... So, on behalf of everyone here, thank you. Thanks, boys. For everything you've done. <laughs> we should be the ones thanking you. It's a bit much. Yeah. Think about all the work Class 7 put into this mm. and try saying Based that Based on again. bond level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right, Dumpster. Exactly. You guys even helped me deal with my old man. Where would I be without you? I guess. But for the record, we've needed you just as much as you say you need us, you know. You shouldered the most responsibility on the Courageous. The ship that carried us and our dreams this far. Our dreams. And I'm gonna need you to keep watching our backs tomorrow. To fill your <laughs> dreams as soldier. We're right there with you. We would never abandon you after we've come this far together. Thanks. I get this feeling like tomorrow's going to mark a turning point for us. Whether the Imperial Army's operation is a success or a failure, it feels like the time for me to fight Crow is almost here. That's true. Yeah, he won't let a chance like this just waltz on by. And this time, I'm not going to let him win. I'll oh. beat him, drag him right back here, and force him to finally graduate with you. Wait, you mean the terrorist that's trying to take over the entire country? You're going to put him back to school? So that he can study maths. You sure that's even possible, Rain? Can you imagine, dude? That's not going to be... I'm well aware that it won't be easy, but everyone, not just me, wants the four of you together again. Surely you go to school to be, to qualify yourself for like other aspects of later life, you know? You gotta learn so that you can get a start on something that you maybe want to pursue and then like craft over your life. If someone's capable enough to like literally take over the entire nation, should they really be going back to school? I feel like they're already kind of somewhat competent. Class 7 managed to reunite, right? Now it's your turn. You're amazing, Rain. Okay, calm down. And if you say that's what you're gonna do, I've got no reason to doubt you. Good luck. <laughs> Tomorrow's operation is sounding crazier by the minute. Do you think Toa's voice actress is putting on the voice retort, or do you think she just naturally sounds like that IRL? You imagine Toa just speaking to you every day. 
know if that would be kind of weird me out, I think. She's got such a squeaky voice. Seriously. I better hope I can finish polishing off that Tachi. George, I don't want to know what you're doing with your Tachi after everybody goes home. The conversation finally finished, Toa went back to the student council room to dutifully go over the plans for tomorrow once again. And after saying their goodbyes, George and Angelica went out to make it. They went to make out in the bike shed. Oh, they departed for the engineering building. My bad. To get tools and equipment ready. Mm-hmm. Alright, that was wonderful. Notebook character updated. Are we finished yet? Is it finally time? Class 7 dormitory. Here we go. I wonder if it'll actually offer me... Should I head inside and wait? Turning to the dormitory and talking with your chosen character will cause the main story to advance. Oh. Let's go, guys. I wonder if she's going to give me the smooching steam. Probably not. But we can but hope. We can but hope. If anyone talked to me like Reen does to anyone, I'd tell him to fuck off and stop being cheese. Yeah, you'd probably tell him to get a life, wouldn't you? I'm going to start talking like Reen and see how many friends I make. Thank you for everything you've done. I'm going to bring back my friend. The villain who has killed and potentially, um... Finally. Sorry if I kept you waiting. Blackmailed many people. We're going to bring him back and... We're going to go to uh, PE together. Oh my god, Sarah! Not at all. I think I actually showed up a little early. Sarah, are you drunk? Eureka Vodka. Finally had enough booze for the night I take it? <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah, had enough of the bad company too, so I managed to skedaddle. Sarah, what do you say about me when you talk to other people? Do you say that I'm bad company? I figure the others should be able to handle things over at the academy. Just standing here really does bring the memories flooding back, doesn't it? This is kind of awkward. For as long as we spent here. Sarah, do you want to like... We've been away even longer. Sarah, how about we boot up the PS2 and play some time, time splitters? What do you think? But I'm glad you made good on your word and took it back from the Alliance. I don't really want to be here anymore. So am I. And I know I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, Sarah, I'm actually just going to have a, go have a shower and then I'll see you tomorrow. Say, while we're here, why don't we take a little stroll through the place? Oh no. I'm feeling the itch to see if everything upstairs is like we left it. Yeah, let's stroll right into my bedroom, Professor. Come with. Come and check out my books. It's a date. Oh god! Sarah, no! I'm too young! I'm too young! Oh my god, put those away! Off lol? Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. Krabs at Dumpster Player 2. Off, thank you for entertaining us with your presence last night in that one phenomenal game. <clears throat> A shame Crow isn't back with us like old times, huh? Oh, not you as well. In a way, he hasn't changed a bit since his first day. Even then, he was never honest with his feelings. Oh, yeah. You helped out with the Arcus trials they all did last year, didn't you? Yep. We sent them all over the country. Just like we did with you guys during your field studies. That'll be a spin-off game one day. Sometimes, I can't help but wonder that if I'd noticed something was off with Crow back then, we all could have been spared a lot of heartache. Oh my god, she touched him in the showers and now he's a villain. I've known him even longer than you guys have. Heck, I was his teacher. I guess I keep thinking maybe there was something I could have done. You'd have stopped sending him pictures all the time. It's not your fault. Crow's planning was meticulous. He'd been setting it up for years. He would have gone through with it either way. Thank you, Down. Is it Downcast or Doncast? I'm not Thanks going for the back and let that be that. Hello, Mr. Wolfie. We'll face him There's down, a big problem with him, Jin and that's... Bring him back. That he doesn't drop gas. Understandable. Hoff, honestly. Understandable. I think we had a good level 1, level 2, Hoff, and then after that I didn't really do much, so I apologise for be being half-assed. Half yeah? But it was fun, it was fun. Until Silas got 25 kills and then it wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> I then know it, you'll then do it stopped you being can. fun. If anyone can bring Crow back, it's you guys. Okay. It's been almost two years since I traded in my bracer badge for the whole teacher shtick. Shtick. But there's never been a day when I regretted making the switch. Likewise, we couldn't have ended up with a better homeroom teacher. Oh my god, this is getting oddly intimate. Your methods seemed really bizarre at first, but when I look back, 
Everything you did prepared us for what was to come. <laughs> Look away, Chan. Thanks. It makes me happy to hear that. I'd like to think that you all learned a lot from me. But over the past year, I've learned plenty from you guys, too. Things I never learned pounding the battlefield as a Jaeger or during my time with the Bracers. What did you learn while getting pounded on the battlefield? But whatever the future holds for me, I know the time Try I spent your here out. The will help guide me in whatever gutter. I end up doing next. You disgusting pigs. Wait. Whatever you the filthy blackguards. You're not thinking of chat. We're not thinking about pounding our teacher Sarah, okay? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Sarah, we can't make out. We're busy. We have too many girlfriends. We can't add you to the mix. No matter which side comes out on top in this war, the Empire's never going to be the same again. When it's all over, should I stay on as an instructor here? Should I go back to being a bracer, or branch out to something new? I uh, honestly, Sarah, I c I couldn't comment. All I know is that I want to be able to support you guys in whatever you decide to work towards, as much as I can. Just how I'm going to do that, I don't really know yet. I'm hoping that fighting through the battle ahead of us brings me an answer. There's already a lot of support going on in this scene. Particularly in your clothes. <laughs> you really are amazing. You know that? Please shut the hell up. No matter how fast we grow, you're always a step ahead of us. Pushing forward into the unknown to show us the way. I'm never going to be able to measure up to you, am I? What do you mean? Reen's now feeling insecure. Listen, Reen, it's not about the size of the Gundam, okay? It's how, it's how you use it. You're experienced, reliable, always ahead of us, just out of reach, but guiding us forward. You're strict sometimes, but you're always compassionate, and you bury your weaknesses deep down to be someone we can rely on. We're not buddying anything, Reen. And somewhere along the way, I started to hope that one day I'll be able to finally catch up to you. So that we can think of each other as peers. As something more than just teacher and student. What does that mean, Reen? Oh. Say this like Nanny the fuck? As things stand, I'm still a long way from being there. Reen, you still would go through puberty for crying out loud. When this war is behind us, when life slows back down to its normal pace, mm -hmm. there will come a day when I graduate from Thor's and head out into the world as a real man. <laughs> when that day comes, I want to be there for you, in some way, as your equal. Phrasing. Oh my. <laughs> She's like, oh right, oh right, well this got awkward. Um, Reen, maybe we should go study some calculus? <laughs> well, you're just full of surprises tonight, aren't you? With all that's been going on, I never realized you felt that way about me. Oh, you forced out of me. I'm too young. I'm reckless, okay? I don't know what I'm saying. There's a lot of nonsense in my brain right now. It sounds good at the time, but I'll regret in 10 years. Can we just move along? You can be pretty daring sometimes, you know that? You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. Now for my special move. Trousers off. I'm sure you're well aware that I go for the classy, mature gentleman type and not students, though. Uh, what are we talking about? I just meant about like teaming up on the battlefield, not anything else. Don't know what you're going for, Seda, you predator. Yeah, but we're looking toward the future, right? Oh my god, he's stretching here. Reen, stop it. Put it away. Yeah, but what about in the future? What about in like a year's time when I've grown an inch or two? Come on, Seda. What do you say? Students grow up. Boys become men. Reen! Sure, I might not look the part now. But one day, I'll be a dashing, handsome gent who can turn even your head. I mean, you don't have to explain yourself to this tavern wench. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, then. <laughs> Sarah's like, oh, shit. What's fucking going on here? Sarah, back right the fuck up. Step away from the young man. <sighs> I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Zip. In fact, I'm making it a formal assignment. No. Peek. Oh no, lads, 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 Monka S. Why? Oh no. No questions. Oh god, no. Good students are supposed to listen to their teachers. Oh no, Mio Shamu, cover your eyes. Well, if you say so. Don't look, chat. <clears throat> she just grunted straight into my ear. What happened there? Seda, we're all, you're oddly glowing. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Seda, what the hell was that? You, well, get those away from me. <laughs> Just think of that as a little appetizer. An appetizer for what? In a couple of years, if you're still hungry for the main course, <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> what? Come and find me. I'll make it worth the chase. Okay, Sarah. Thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> what? For the main course? Mate, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Want me to show you my robot? Still, there's no need to rush. I'm willing to wait. If you are. What in the fuck is going on, Sarah? Take your fucking sassy ass elsewhere. I am a priest, my body's a temple, and I dedicate myself purely to the art of discipline and being a Giga Chad. So uh, take your <laughs> take yourself away, Sarah. Thanks. Oh my god, Reen, stop it. Sarah, I've just got a Zemurian or Tai Chi in my pocket. Nothing more. Don't look at it. Oh my goodness gracious. Lads, we should have picked we should have picked Laura. We should have picked Laura. Oh Reen! Stop it, Reen! Oh They're just um they're just molding their blades for the upcoming battle, guys. They're just um preparing their armor. Putting on their chainmail and having sex. Okay, <clears throat> your bond with instructor Sarah has strengthened! Woo! Inseparable! My goodness, there it is, boys. Reen and Instructor Sarah are now bound for life. They make out sometimes. Overdrive 2, what does that mean? Dumpster, what does Overdrive 2 mean? Worth the wait? Fucking hell. Jesus, they're really going in on this. The final operation. I think we've already we've already won the game. There, there's nothing else we need to do. We've secured the uh, metaphorical bag, shall we say. Jack's going to put his camera back on and be clothesless. Unlucky. Alright. Anyways. We made it. Reen asked if they could TM32 and he shocked about a peck on the cheek. I know, I know, that is true actually. He was asking to go, uh, he was asking to hyperbeam the Onyx. So when she uh, did the Pidgey peck, he was like, nah fam, nah. This isn't what I signed up for. See, I told you we had a huge sword. How did they get this trolley down the stairs? Come on now. Isn't George's workshop on the top floor? You really were able to forge a Valimar a new Tai Chi from Zemurian Ore. Are we going to tell any of our classmates what Seda said to us? Of course I was! It's a massive weapon, totaling over 7 arch in length. Its uncommon shape made refining and processing the ore exceedingly difficult, to say the least, but it was done. I doubt I would have been able to do it if not for the help of the stubborn old student of mine over here. Instructor Makarov, no Russian. I'm with you, Instruct- wait, you're talking about him? George, you're filler. I heard you were once a student at the Rohrer Institute of Technology, but I never connected the dots. Ah, uh, that's how I preferred it too. All that was a long, long time ago. Long, long man. The offer still stands, however. I know talent when I see it. I, I, I couldn't possibly. I doubt I have half the talent to keep up with you. Give it to him straight, George. Right. How awkward. Anyways. Still, what a beautiful blade it is. The radiant of it's simply dazzling. Let me check that it works. Alfin throws herself on the sword. It's severed in half. Never to seen, be seen again. Ah, oh, there's nothing like Zemurian ore. <laughs> Dude, honestly, they should just do that sometimes. I really want them to... I really want them to build up a character one time. Give them, like, maybe, like, half an hour to an hour of, like, screen time and dialogue. Maybe some backstory. And I want the game to just execute them on a whim. Valimar shouldn't and, and do it in a, like a silly way, like make them get like trampled by a horse or hit by a car or something, not like die valiantly in battle. I mean like, I want Alfin to trip and fall down a set of stairs. That would be such a sick plot twist, it would be brilliant. Acknowledged. This is where we find out it's actually got a, a machine gun in it. Oh my god, what is happening? Something's popping off. Whoa. They're resonating with one another. Oh no, Valimar's gone into kill mode, look. All the students just die. Van, D Van Dyke looks like a One Piece character, he does, yeah. How beautiful! Yeah, enough about me though, Elliot. What, tell me about the sword. It truly is astounding. He looks so cool, Valimar. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's amazing, all right. I think we finally have a chance. Is that a trackball that Reen's using? 
the fuck is that? Is that a touchpad? Jamie, look away. I do intend to feel this is easier to wield than previous armaments. Good, I'm glad to hear it. You think this will do the trick? Yes, I had high expectations, but this shattered them. I think I finally stand a chance against him now. Professor Schmidt, Instructor Makarov, George? Thank you. I must now kill you so that you can't make any more swords for the enemy. It's a sacrifice you're just going to have to make peace with. Now die. Whatever you do now, um, that I'm done is no concern of me. Professor Schmidt, you don't truly mean that. If I went and kicked you right in the nuts, you would you'd definitely have concern with that. This is just how he is. Yeah, honestly, I don't care. They made us a sword. We're very grateful. Thanks, boys. Oh, Principal Van Dyke. All that said, I think the preparations are now finally complete. Yes, sir. I think it's about time I get everyone ready for some naked Jenga. Toa, you're 13. Stop it. As for me, the current time is 0630 hours. Reen, how about we rendezvous in my swag pad for some um, final prep? Everyone should gather here at 730. But I can't tell the time. Be quiet, George. Right. Okay. Guys, we made it. Same day, 7.50. Hog. What a fucking wild ride it's been. What have I just returned to hearing? Oh, Tom, you missed all of the chaos. Just barely, though. Tom, how are you today? What do you want? At Dumpster Player 2 is abusing me. It's okay, I'll time him out. I'm keeping a close eye on him, Tom. Don't worry. Emerald Scrub. Emerald Pog. <laughs> Nice. All of the students have gathered. Good. Instructor Seda, Instructor Thomas, Instructor Makarov. We leave them in your capable hands. Understood. <laughs> That's Don't it. Just leave them to us. Oh my god, what's Van Dyke been doing? Students of Thor's Military Academy. I'm sure most of you remember what was once imparted to you during your respective welcoming ceremonies. Arise, O youth, and become the foundation of the world. These are the words of Emperor Dreykels, the man who ended the War of the Lions and founded this very academy. Wait, is Reen going to become the Emperor? I don't think he wants that. I ask you to consider what the world he refers to is, and what qualifies one must possess is be its foundation. Oh, the qualities of one, sorry, not qualifies, excuse me. I imagine that you each had your own thoughts and response. But I don't care about any of your thoughts, because I'm the principal and what I say goes. Now everybody, bend over to the front and touch your toes. Angelica, bounce that ass up and down again. Anyways, <clears throat> I believe that it is on the walking side by side with others opening up a path and treading it down. That What, what is he even talking about? Van Dyke, you're literal filler. Who gave you the right to do a speech? You grandstanding fuck, get out of here. You were hiding in a cupboard until 10 minutes ago. Make yourself useful. Return alive, welcome spring's arrival with one another, and when the time finally comes, fly the nest with one another. And to that end, I wish you victory. May Adios and Dreykels the Lionheart be with you all. Yes, thank you, Alfin. And please, come back here safe and unharmed. I make no promises, Alfin. Everybody cheers. Oh my god, Toa and Alfin 1v1, please. Our objective is to rescue His Majesty the Emperor, as well as those who were captured with him. Everyone, move out! Right! Right. Oof. Antidote has left the building. Food shopping has been complete. It's a good day. Hope all is well. Dude, Antidote. Let's go. Reen can now use the S-Craft. Termination slash Dawn. Damn, Daniel. Back to the fucking place where we first met. The Crimson Wings. The Crimson Ass. Okay. Surface air temperature is 5 degrees. Humidity 13%. No one asks, Vivi. Incoming messages from both the 3rd and 4th Armored Divisions. Tell them we're busy. They're past the Swarger Drak Barrier and Trista and moving into formation about 100 Selge from Heimdall. Are you just making these words up? All orbital engines are operating normally. Oh mate, we have an engine failure. We're going down. There's smoke trailing from the back. It doesn't look like anything we're going to be hearing anything from Prince... <coughs> oh, we're not going to be hearing anything from Prince Oliver. Indeed, there's no word from Father either. Well, unlucky Laura, sometimes it just be that way. They've probably got their hands full in the west. It's starting to get really hectic there from what I've heard. I've asked Mitch to try and get in. Who the, who's Mitch? Who's that? I'm not big. I'm not banking on him. Succeed. It must be out of contact. We meet Mitch recently. 
It would have been great to have them here too. There's no point in lamenting what we don't have. Right, all we can do now is make the best out of our current situation. I'm fine with that. Still, the battle does not begin until midday. We've got time. If there's anything you want to take care of, now's your chance. Oh my god. Sarah, meet me in my bunk. Oh my god, not requests. No, are you double checking the requests? Oh no. How many have I got? Oh, four! Emir, far, wherever you are, Prince Oliver. Okay, Nord by East. Sanction Violence. And my Jorg Jormungandr must be a monster, is it? Yeah. Big sneaky. Big sneaky boy. I think we can handle these. Right, none of these seem like they'll take too long. Whether you do them or not is totally up to you, but getting ready for battle would still be, or should still be, top priority. I know you've got the hang of reporting to Prince Oliver, but seeing as we can't contact him, you can just report to me. Oh yeah, nice one, Tom. That sounds like something Darth Vader would say. There's no such thing as being too prepared for this. Ah, oh, shit. Just when we thought we were going in. The finale. Forward. Relentlessly. Lads, we made it. To advance the main story, speak to Toa. This is the last time during the story that you will be able to board the Courageous. All quests and sub-events will, will also disappear in trails. Okay, cool. Uh, well, you have another chance to buy these items, quartz and the like. It will not be for some time. Who is going to be my squad? I think we are taking on Eusis, my king. Seda, my queen. Fee, my granddaughter. And... Alicia. And... Emma? Magic, magic, damage, magic. Laura. Come on, then. Let's fucking go. Confirm. This will have to do. Alright, lads. Do we have student info as well that we have to look at really quickly? Please tell me there's there's not students to find, is there? Nope. Have we got all the students? Where was all the students that were available that we didn't get? Was there secret students that we didn't find? Wait a goddamn minute. Unless they were just given to us naturally. So the only thing we have to do is the... Is these, right? Check quests. Report quests. So I guess uh, that's just it, guys. When we come back, we'll be doing some side quests to get prepared. Do some final grinding. Make a little bit of final monies. And then that'll be us. Awesome sauce. Well, this is a great place for us to end this part. I thought we were getting close to the end, but now we're actually close to the end. We're probably going to have a couple of boss gauntlets, but yeah, this will have been merged with the other part of our YouTube Let's Play. So as always, guys, if you've enjoyed this, let me know in the comments, leave me some likes and tell me what you thought. And I'll see you in the next part, which will hopefully be our finale of Trails of Cold Steel 2. Peace. Bye bye.